left inside, got first down. That's a touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. Looking to the corner, he's got a man open. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. Number 10. Pride in their craft. And they're working so hard to get here early and stay late. Kickoff by Heritage. We're going to field it on about the two. Jamarcus Alvis, Starburst, Starburst return. return. Their here loss lane go. readers out the gate. Good blocking. A lot of green grass here setting up blocks. One guy to get oh, beat. Oh, I tripped him up. Number nine. In and out. And our D-line playing really tough. So uh, now let's see if the old line can step up here and we can move the rock. And a casket the ball, and that is, looks like Reader off to the races. Is that Taylor? That is Liam Taylor. Does a little spin move. I think that's the uh, up arrow and triangle, isn't it? Number eight. Get out seven. Let's blend it into shotgun. Bring Brad Brewer, that's pressing Jackson motion. Brewer now running over people, and now he's loose. Inside the 20. Inside the 10, he's going to walk into the end zone for a Harbor touchdown. Number seven. Play up to your ability level. Phipps is going to throw on first down. This one into a crowd and intercepted. Third interception thrown by Landon Phipps tonight. This one intercepted by Liam Taylor. Number six. Be a 39 yard, excuse me. 44 yard. Yeah, 44. I got to check my math. Carry the one. There's the snap, the kick is up. Good! Hey. And it's good! And the, <laughs> the Cats will go into the half with the three point lead, 20 to 17. Number five. There's the snap, drops back, looks left, throws. That is caught, he's wide open, crosses the 40, it's a foot race to the end, to the 20, to the 10, Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats, what a play. You wanted half, they gave you the whole thing, coach. Number four. There's the snap, quarterback drops back. Everybody's going deep, we're throwing it up. Man-to-man -man coverage, hey. intercepted by the Wildcats. Nice job. Number three. There's the snap, hands it off underneath the Brewer. Brewer's got some room, cuts back on his side, inside. It's off the foot races, folks. You're not gonna catch him. Five, touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. All the way back on the 45, 47 yard line. Number two. Doubles formation here, full back up tight, right behind the tackle. Get a double move by Big Brewer. What oh, a catch, what a man. Catch. Wow. <laughs> You gotta love it, man. Yeah. Number one. Cats come to the line of scrimmage, two to the bottom, three split to the top. McClendon back, keeps it up the middle, gets the first down in, he's off to the races, to the 50, to the 45, the 40, the 35, 25, 20, 15, he's gone, touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. That'll settle you down, Donald. Absolutely. Presented by McClarty Day. Come see the largest pre-owned inventory in Northwest Arkansas. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it in McClarty Daniel Country. With 800 pre-owned vehicles at six giant locations in Bentonville and Springdale, there's something for everyone. Plus, at McClarty Daniel, you're protected. Drive worry-free for seven years or 200,000 miles with the MD pre-owned advantage. And when it's time to sell your car, we're ready to buy it, even if you don't buy from us. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country yet? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. 
This month, our biggest discounts on the highest quality lineup of vehicles are at Crane Buick GMC in Springdale. Right now, get up to $10,000 off new Sierras, up to $12,000 off new Yukons, and new Acadias are just $3.99 a month with zero money down. And just like always, you'll get the Crane commitment, including a 100-year, 100,000-mile warranty, because we are Arkansas-driven. Visit Crane Buick GMC of Springdale in the heart of Northwest Arkansas and online at CraneBuickGMCOfSpringdale.com. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure on the counter, find a hole, Garrett inside the five, touch, down, Springdale. Chicken House is open for dine-in and carry-out. We have taken the necessary measures to provide the comfortable dining atmosphere that you know and love. Kids eat free every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget senior night on Mondays and Wednesdays. So stop on in for your AQ Chicken favorites or get them to go. Let AQ Chicken serve you and your family today. AQ Chicken, a family tradition since 1947. Claymax at NWA is just an easy, customer-centered experience. Right now is probably the easiest time that I've ever seen to achieve financing for people on maybe even a more expensive vehicle or more accommodating vehicle for their family. I've got the best inventory, I would say, in the state, and my people are not only experienced in the car business, but they're experienced in the people business. Whether you just check us out online or you check us out in person, we want you to visit us. Claymax at NWA and ClaymaxCNWA.com. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. At Farmers Insurance, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything, even a rock and wreck. Yeah! He rocked and rolled right into it, but we covered it. At Farmers, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Call me, Bill McCain, to get smart about discounts, 751-7070. Hey, Riley, will you come in here real quick? Yeah, man, one sec. Hey, so I'm just, uh, I'm looking through some, some film myself, and, you know, I was thinking uh, if you would take a look at this. In other news, our Wildcat baseball team is, is going to face off against the, the... Hold up. What are you doing with your arm? I mean, you're distracting the audience by your chicken dance. Well, I just, I just thought it would, you know, bring more attention to myself. No, no. No? Okay, okay. Now we're going to talk about softball. The softball team, you know, they, they did okay this year, and uh, it's... This is totally unprofessional. You're just spinning in circles, and it's not looking good, man. Well, I thought that, that maybe the different angles would be kind of cool. No, no. Welcome back, guys. Uh, here we are back in the Wildcat Sports Network studio. We're going to be talking a little bit about softball. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you about that. I have uh, the coach. Wrestling. 
Coach Corey Butler, boys soccer. Coach Dustin Hillcamp, baseball. Coach Lynn Lawson, boys and girls tennis and boys state runner up. Coach Jamie Bunting, cheer. Coach Gina McGee, girls soccer. Coach Tommy Deffelbaugh, boys basketball. Coach Kimberly Jenkins, girls basketball. Coach Candy Bailey, softball. And Coach Joe Cromit, track and cross country, boys state runner up. Football coach Chris Wood and bowling coach Coach Brandon Haney cannot join us on the field tonight as they're preparing for tonight's game. Also unable to join us is dance coach Don Rhodes. She is preparing her team for state dance competition tomorrow. Joining the Harbor High coaching staff on the field tonight is Mr. Seth Jensen, Chief Financial Officer of Slim Chickens. As we say thank you to, to our coaches and to Slim Chickens, hometown heroes of the game. The 2020 Harbor Cross Country team, led by Coach Joe Cromit and Coach Spencer Scarborough, ended the season ranked number two overall in the state. Their second place finish in the state meet is the best finish ever for Harbor Cross Country team. The runners who competed in the state meet at Hot Springs are Senior, Anthony Alvarez. Senior, Luke Bledsoe. Senior, Matthew Ball. Senior, Johnny Cordero. All-state, sixth fastest runner in Harbor history with a 16-19-5K. Senior, Ruben Reyna. All-time fastest runner in Harbor history with a 15-13-5K. Junior, Jonas Brown. Sophomore, James Eslick. All-state, ninth fastest in Harbor history. Sophomore, Dawson Welch. Third fastest runner in Harbor history with a 15.53, 5K. Freshman, Connor Boatwright. Freshman, Jonathan Mendez, All-state. And freshman, Jesus Ponce. Joining Coach Cromit and the team tonight are, are Springdale School Superintendent, Dr. Jared Cleveland, District Director of Athletics, Wayne Stellick, and Harbor High Principal, Dr. Paul Greep. Congratulations to the Harbor Wildcat Boys Cross, cross Country Team on a great season. Hey Northwest Arkansas, Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. Arkansas's largest furniture destination, get it at Sam's. It's time for family fun on the water. Heartland Honda introduces Coach Pontoons powered by Honda Marine. This is your chance, Northwest Arkansas, to experience everything you ever wanted in a boat. Come see for yourself the brand new Coach Pontoons now at Heartland Honda in Springdale. See how much fun you, your family, and friends will have with the most amazing features on any pontoon boat you'll ever see. Plus, get a 10-year bow to stern warranty, including the very best Honda outboard motor. Fun on the water and memories for a lifetime start with a Coach Pontoons powered by Honda from Heartland Honda. You can love where you live and play at an apartment community managed by Lindsay Management Company. Affordable apartments with awesome amenities, including clubhouses, fitness center, pools, tennis and basketball courts, and playgrounds at select locations. 
Many locations also include golf privileges, business centers, game rooms, tanning beds, whirlpools, saunas, and resort-style swimming pools. View rates, photos, and apply online at lindsaymanagement.com. Man, you got a light? Yeah, we can get to that. Do you know the average American spends about $2,000 a year on tobacco products? Which typically translates into about $200 a month. All on something that makes you 30 times more likely to die from lung cancer. Knowing that, saying you're burning through your money is an understatement. 31 cents is the cost of a cigarette. 31 cents, big tobacco just bought your future. Don't want that light? Nah, man, I'm good. For more information, visit projectpreventar.com. The Springdale Chamber of Commerce is among the top 1% of chambers in the nation to be honored with a five-star rating by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. We work each day to make our members more profitable through programming and events that strengthen our economy, help to create jobs for a growing population, and support the needs of a diverse community. We make Springdale a better place to live. Learn more about the Chamber and Springdale by visiting our website, springdale.com. Try the 3 and 3 meal at Slim Chickens. Three hand-breaded chicken tenders paired with three perfectly fried wings. Shaken in your choice of house flavors. Served with fries, Texas toast, and a medium drink. Slim Chickens. Fresh. Delicious. Chicken. Hi, I'm Jared Cleveland. I'm the superintendent of Springdale School District. We're here today with Miss Betsy Crazy U. I call her Miss K, and so do all the students. We're here today with her because she's experienced what it feels like to go through the COVID-19 process as a patient. So Miss Betsy, Miss K, do you mind to talk to us a little bit about the experience? Absolutely. Um, First of all, I, I knew going into this that this was going to be a very trying year. I felt like I was protecting myself in the best way possible, and I still got infected. What are some things you've been doing to help yourself and to others feel more comfortable as you transition back into school? Well, I have to be honest that, you know, depression with COVID is, is real. It almost magnifies with COVID, you know, but Springdale teachers, I mean, we're family and that is one thing that I love. I had uh, several people drop food off at my house, including parents of wow. some of my previous students. That's great. Um, and that was really, you know, that's heartwarming. That helps you get through. What advice do you have that you could share, not only for adults, but for students too? I would definitely tell people to not give up, that this is not over. Sometimes you just have to care about other people and just do what's right. And in this case, wearing a mask is what we have to do. Being careful, washing your hands for 45 seconds. That 45 seconds could help keep me well and keep others well. I'm Jared Cleveland, this is Miss Kay, and we thank you for participating with us. A house is more than just a structure. It's a place to build your dreams and family. When you're looking for your new home, you need a realtor with integrity, passion, and commitment. You'll need Donna Catsby. With professional high expertise, Donna Catsby does more than just put a sign in your yard. She provides you the best step-by-step -step service for buying or selling your home. Reliability, knowledge, and work are just a few of the standout qualities you could expect. Donna Catsby, bringing you home in Northwest Arkansas. At Northwest Health, we've made it easier to schedule a doctor's appointment. Online scheduling for our primary care physicians lets you make an appointment at any time from anywhere. It's the new way to book your next visit. MyNorthwestAnyCare.com For over 20 years, Community Clinic has served Washington County with quality and affordable health care. 
with three wellness centers in Springdale, located at Jones, George, and Elmdale Elementary. Our services include primary care, pediatrics, prenatal, behavioral health, and physical therapy. We offer services in English, Spanish, and Marcellese so that we can help your family. The Community Clinic, healthy people, healthy community. Accidents are never planned, but no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. A thousand mile journey begins with one step, but if your feet hurt, that journey will be cut short. Dr. Brian Sheehan at the Ankle and Foot Centers of Mid-America will help you with all your foot care to keep you on that journey. Take the first step to feeling better. Call Dr. Sheehan today at 479-224-6411, www.shehanthefootman.com. So saying Matthews his lightning vest speed. No, 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 no. He's he's got explosive speed. Dude, he's lightning fast. Uh, saying, would you describe your speed as explosive or lightning fast? What? Dude, I'm telling you, it's lightning he's fast, explosive. Dude. Lightning fast. What's that? Lightning fast. Lightning fast. Yeah. You don't need a fitness facility to shed those pandemic pounds. Get ready for the weather ahead and bring the gym home with premium health club equipment from Push Pedal Pull. Our stores are open and following the latest safety protocols. We'll help you find the best equipment for you. And once you've made your selections, let us do the heavy lifting with home delivery and setup. Design your own gym. Find a location nearest you and schedule an appointment today at pushpedalpull.com. If you want fast, easy, and affordable service, visit McClarty Daniel. Keep your vehicle running like new in our state-of-the-art service facilities. We know your time is valuable. Our factory-certified technicians with decades of experience will get you in and out and back on the road quickly. We service all makes and models at our six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale. Open six days a week. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to schedule your service appointment today. Good evening, Wildcat Nation. On behalf of Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland, Director of Athletics, Wayne Stellick, and Harbor High School Principal, Dr. Paul Grebe, welcome to Wildcat Friday Night. Tonight we come to you from beautiful Springdale, Arkansas, where the Harbor Wildcats take on the Fort Smith Northside Grizzlies for the first round of the state playoffs. My name is Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Joining me tonight, it's a special treat. In the co-pilot seat is Big Don Strubing. Donald's good to be up here this evening. Man, it's good to see you. Usually you, you just spec down on the field that we barely see you, but now in the flesh, in the booth. Yep, back by popular demand. <laughs> well, we got the Grizzlies in the house. You know, we talked about it off camera before the game. 
there's a lot of tradition and history. I mean, here at Harvard, obviously, but especially there at Northside. Yeah, Donald, you know, the uh, the Grizzlies go way back with the city of Springdale. You know, going back to the Joe Fred Young days, Gerald William days, we were lamenting earlier this evening that uh, of all of our favorite, well, at least my favorite place to play was Mayo Thompson Stadium. It's a beautiful place. It ought to be on some kind of historical register. I hope it is. If it's not, we need to get our uh, congressmen that are paying attention tonight to uh, make an edict to make it so. So the Cats – First round of the state playoffs. Yeah, what's the deal tonight? Are the Cats, you know, what, are we, what are we looking for the first round of the playoffs? Well, Donald, the first round of the playoffs, boy, it makes you feel good. Look at there. Got the American flag flying high right out of the chute. First round of the playoffs, hey, it's winter go home. You know, somebody's going to be putting up their equipment come Monday. Right. You know, they're going to be standing in line. You know, hey, you got shoulder pad number 44, 44, checking it off the list. Somebody's putting their equipment up. Somebody keeps on playing. Right. So the Cats come onto the field, as you said, American flag leading the Cats on. Cats won the toss, deferred in the second half. It's a beautiful evening this evening, Donald. 50 degrees, winds out of the east at six miles an hour, 56% humidity with a visibility of 10 miles. That's gorgeous looking over all of Springdale. It's a beautiful spot to look at night at the nighttime sky here in Springdale. Sunquist Church, deep for the Grizzlies. Richie Ramirez set to kick off for so the Ramirez Wildcats. will kick off for the Cats. It's playoff football time here in Springdale. Let's make some noise for your Harbor Wildcats. Seat belt on, coach. Here we go. Low shot goes out of the back of the end zone. That's going to be a touchback. You drop it on the flag. I think it went out about the yes, one, dog. It looks like it went out of the one. So the Grizzlies will start. You have a little history there, right, with the head coach, is that? Yeah, old Mike Fleur. Well, he's a great head coach for the Northside Grizzlies. Spent some time in Georgia. He's a Fort Smith native. His brother, Turtle, and I go way back. Uh, good folk right there. So the, the Cats on defense, the Grizzlies on offense. They'll have the ball first and 10 from the 35. They show up with one to the right, three to the left. There's a snap. Looks left, throws left. Incomplete. Defense doing a good job of just tying up the receiver. Hits him in the back of the head. That's going to be incomplete. He's second and ten. Yeah, great job of Tommy Hudson pressing that receiver, getting up in his face, not letting that pass get off. So the Grizzlies come to the line of scrimmage. It looks like they're going to have two to the right, two split to the left. Single setback. Quarterback back at shotgun. Brings a man in motion, chips it to him. He's going to split around the left-hand side. Liam Taylor there to slow him down. Then the rest of the defense lines up and takes him down. That's, he might have got a yard or two on the play. Well, they're going to give him a hefty spot. Donald, great job of Liam Taylor setting the edge. You know, the whole thing about playing defense, turn it back inside, wait for help to show up. Yeah. Doing a good job, as Coach said, turning in the play. Three to the bottom, one split to the top. Third down and six. There's a snap, rolls to the right. Has a man deep downfield, incomplete. He was wide open downfield. Yeah, he got behind our defenders. You know, one thing we talked about off the air is we got to keep contained on this quarterback. Especially when you get into third down situations. It's a pretty simple game. Any defensive coordinator will tell you, keep contain. That's the name of the game. Rally up, keep them in the pocket. You don't want a quarterback like Northside's to break contain. Fourth down and a long six. Punt team is on the field for the Grizzlies. There's a snap. Snap is low. The kick is up. Oh, good, great. 
Gonna roll out of bounds, looks like about the 21. Flag down on the play. There's a flag on the play. Running into the kicker, defense number 18. That penalty is declined. Result of the punt, first down, Harbor. There you go, running into the kicker. They decline it, the Cats do get the ball. Lost a little field position, but that's okay here, Donald. So it'll be first and 10 from the 21 for the Cats. Livingston at the QB spot. Line of scrimmage, they got one split to the right. Excuse me, two split to the right. Brewer will shift to make it three. There's the snap, quick pass, complete. And he's going to be tackled for a loss. Looks like about a loss of three. You know, want to start off that ball game. I'm sure Coach Wood just wanted to get a quick, easy throw, build confidence with his quarterback, get rid of the ball, see what we could get. That time, Northside played it well. So they're going to get a good spot. Second down and 12. One to the right, one split to the left. There's the snap. Hands it off. Brewer up the middle. Brewer's going to fight, maybe pick up four yards. It'll be third down and eight for the Cats. Okay, one thing, Donald, we got to do this game is we can't get behind the chains too far. You know, we've got we've got a new guy in there at quarterback, Noah Livingston. You know, and that's tough. That's tough even for a veteran to be behind. I don't want to say behind the chains, but third and long situations. You want to keep them third and manageable. So Cats break the huddle. They got one split to the right-hand side, one split to the left. There's the snap, drops back. Looks to the left, throws a little bit out of reach, incomplete. Okay, that high pass, hey, that's just that's just a, a you know product of not doing a lot of work together in fall camp and through the season. Uh, protection was good. They went with a max protection. Lots of guys in protection. Fourth down and eight from the 23. Punt team is on the field. Like number 23 deep for Northside. Snap. There's the kick. It's gonna be. It's gonna land about the 42. It's gonna take a Northside bounce, and the Cats are there to down it. That's Hudson, Hudson Brewer on the punt. So kind of exchanging exchanging punts here the first two possessions yeah so they've been a little bit of a volley contest so far somebody will get in rhythm here so first and 10 for north side balls at the 43 yard line 952 to go in the first quarter diamond formation for north side going to shift power to the right hand side here comes the the runner is going to get first down looks like about three uh, two yards on top of that so it'll be first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Done on that was just an old-school student body ride. They just toss it to the tailback and get a bunch of blockers in front of them. Tackled by Will Haney. It's good to see Will Haney back in the mix here after recovering from the shoulder injury. Yeah. He fought off some blockers, man, to come back, get them down. So first and 10, 44-yard line. Three to the left, one split to the right. Quick pass to the top. It's going to pick up four yards, and the rest of the defense rallies up. Liam Taylor there coming off the pile. Warren yeah. Hall. Yeah, you know, Northside just trying to get the ball out in space and have one of their athletes make a move. Harbor did a great job of flowing to the ball, gang tackle. So second down and four for Northside. Ball's at the 38. Diamond formation for north side. One split to the right-hand side. There's the snap. Fakes or hands it off on the right-hand side. It's a big positive yards there, Coach. Yeah, what they did, you know, when they have that diamond formation, they've got two lead blockers, and they basically just hit off tight end and just decided they're just going to get on track and white ride the wave. See, they're just doing a good job of finding some daylight. Northside will have the ball first and 10. Ball's at the 22-yard line. 
Same diamond formation, one split to the left. Boom, hit up the middle. Oh, ball. Looks great like hit. the Cats get the ball back. Yeah, great hit by Warren Hall right there. You know, you've heard me talk about Warren Hall from the sideline. He's one of my favorite players to watch. I don't know if his dad, Tony's here. He's probably driving a truck somewhere across America. So, Tony, if you're listening, Warren's made a great play. That was a huge hit. Okay, once again, Don, a little bit of trade back right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Cats get the ball. First and ten. Ball's at the 17-yard line. Cats come to the line of scrimmage. We've got two split to the left, one split to the right. Hands it off to Brewer. Brewer on the left-hand edge, trying to get around. Gets a stiff arm, crosses the 30, 35. Tackled out of bounds. It looks like about, well, from my angle, is the 45, but they got him at the 38. Hey, great job by Brewer getting that ball and then hitting the edge and just stretching it to the sideline using his speed. And then when he put his foot in the ground, he just got north-south. Right there, he fends off a defender, running down the sideline. Great yardage. Two to the right, one to the left. There's a snap. Brewer up the middle. Gets tangled up in the line of scrimmage, but picks up, looks like, about two and a half. Donald, we're close right there. We had a great trap block on the defensive end. We're really close. Somebody just fell off their block. Uh, we're close. I imagine Coach Wood's going to keep on hammering up the gut because uh, something will pop here. Second down and eight at the 40. Seven minutes, 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. At the line of scrimmage, two to the right, one split to the left. There's a the snap. Livingston drops back, throws, caught. First down. It's going to take about four Grizzlies to tackle him down at the 40. Alva's doing a good job just going after the ball. Yeah, great job by Jamarcus catching that ball. But let me tell you, it all starts up front. Great protection, helping Noah feel comfortable back there in that pocket. First and ten, ball is at the 40-yard line. Got two split to the right, one split to the left. Reader next. There's Reader on the handoff on the right-hand side. Cuts it back inside, and it's like he dives forward to get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, Reader did a great job just kind of stretching that. He knew that he probably wasn't going to outflake the defense, so he's put his right foot in the ground and get what he could get, which, you know, it looked like a little more than what it was. Second down and 10 at the 40. Again, two to the right, one split way down on an island down here on the left. There's a snap. Hands it oh, off to yeah. Reader up the there middle. That's awesome. The old delay draw, Donald. Smoke draw. It's going to be close. Reader's going to get about nine yards there. It's going to be just short of the first down. Some people call it a wrap draw. Right there. See the quarterback? He's going to wrap it around, stuff it in the, the gut of the running back. It's a great play. So third down and one, two to the left, one split to the right. Hands it off to Brewer. Brewer gets across the 30-yard line, picks up the first down. Going to get five more on top of that. Now moving the chains. That's going, to be, that's going to be paramount to our success is methodically moving the chains. Now, we're going to take some time to move those chains. We've got to come up with points at the end of this drive. Yep. Cats at the line of scrimmage, one to the left, two split to the right. There's the snap, fakes the handoff. Livingston drops, throws over the top. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. That is a great shot. It all starts off with protection right there. Livingston doing a good job just putting the ball on a dime over the top. Extra point team on the field. And we got a flag on the play. I think they tried to play with 13, Don. I'm not yeah. sure. Not legal in, in Springdale, maybe no. in Fort Smith. Illegal substitution on the defense. That penalty is declined. Point after try. Legal substitution.
There's the snap. The kick is up. And the kick is good. And just like that, the Cats at seven. Grizzlies at zero. See if we can get back to that touchdown pass there, Coach. Yeah, you know, Donald, that was some great protection to start things off. Great play fake, fake by the running back. Drew the defenders, drew these defenders in. They were all thinking run, and that way that allowed us to get over the top. Yep, great pass. So the Cats strike first. Arkansas Children's Hospital Northwest kickoff coming at you. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Seven to zero, Cats on the board. So Ramirez will do the kicking responsibility for the Cats. Kick is low and driving. Okay, good. That one will go out of the back of the end zone, so the Grizzlies will have the ball first and 10 at the 20. Ramirez goes through the end zone. First and 10, Grizzlies from the 20 yard line. Big defensive stand here for the Cats. You know, if we can put a, put a shutout on this and get some more momentum. To yeah, it. yeah, it'd be good to get a hold right here and get back, put some points on the board. It's always good to play with the lead. So the Grizzlies come to the line of scrimmage. Two to the left, one split to the right. Hands off on the right-hand edge. It's hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. Donald, not a whole lot fancy. That's just a hard outside run. So far, that's kind of been Northside's strategy, right? Just yeah, and then when they go. Yeah, and then when they're on the hash, they like to run it to the big field just to create some space. Second down and five from the 25. Grizzlies will... Line up with two to the right, one split to the left. There's the snap. There's a handoff. Cuts it back inside. And he's going to pick up four yards, or three yards. Great stop by that Harbor defensive line. There's a lot of beef up there. Look like they're playing football in a telephone booth. <laughs> Somebody started a grease fire in there tonight. Third down and one at the 29, 448 to go in the first quarter. Band is on point tonight. Get them fired up. Diamond formation for the Grizzlies. One to the right, hands it off. He's gonna cut into the middle, right in the middle of that phone booth the coach is just talking about. You know, that's kind of been their go-to play this evening so far through one or two possessions, Donald. The only difference is they hadn't been able to stretch it. We set a hard edge on the defensive front and forced that running back to cut back in where all our help is. So first down run for the Grizzlies. They'll get the first and 10 from the 31. They got two to the right. They got two split to the left. Chips it to the left-hand side. He's going to try to get the edge. Liam Taylor's going to push him out of bounds. It looks like Will Haney and Liam Taylor. You know, you see that fly sweep at all levels of football, even the NFL now. Uh, that fly sweep, that play was actually invented by a guy named Mark Speckman from Willamette University in Willamette, Oregon. And uh, he ran it exclusively in the late 90s, mid-90s, and then – all of a sudden, you started seeing Gus start running that thing. And then from that point, it started growing. And now, you know, you're seeing it on Sundays in the NFL. Great play to stretch the defense horizontally. Two to the right, one to the left. Hands it off up the middle. Gets hammered at the line of scrimmage, and he just extra efforts it for about two more yards. It'll bring up third down and two. Get off the field here, Donald. Third down and two at the 39. Three minutes and 29 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Diamond formation, one to the right, which is the wide side of the field. Hands it off. Right-hand edge. 
Got a flag on a play, but Liam Taylor does a good job of sticking with it. Great job stretching that play out, Donald. Great job. Holding on the offense, number 78. That penalty is declined. Result of the play, fourth down. So the Grizzlies are going to get the flag, but the Cats are going to dec decline it. So they'll bring a fourth down. It's like fourth down and four now. So Britt Witchin back for the Cats. There's the snap. There's the kick. Fair catch. And it is going to be down at the 28. Donald, I believe we're going to have another running into the kicker. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of stuff you can't have when you get somebody in third and short. So they run into the kicker, five-yard penalty. That gives the Grizzlies a first down. It wasn't ferocious, just enough. So first and 10 from the 43-yard line for the Grizzlies. They got two split to the right-hand side, one split to the left. There's the snap, hands it off on the reverse. Flea Flicker back to quarterback. He's going to throw it into triple coverage, incomplete. Great job by the Cats secondary. Yeah, great coverage. job. Yeah, they didn't get fooled by that when they hung with the receiver, didn't let him get behind him. I was kind of worried about the keep on the reverse. If we would kept yeah. the reverse, we lost contain on the top half of the field. Good job by the secondary. So second down and 10. Ball's at the 43-yard line. Two minutes, 51 seconds left to go here in the first quarter at Wildcats Stadium. I'm Donald Tucker, your voice of the Wildcats. That is Big Don Strubing up in the booth. We've got three split to the left-hand side, one split to the right. So we're going to have a timeout here. We're going to take a quick timeout with him. Grizzlies taking the timeout. Cats in the lead, 7-0. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. Come see the largest pre-owned inventory in Northwest Arkansas. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it in McClarty Daniel Country. With 800 pre-owned vehicles at six giant locations in Bentonville and Springdale, there's something for everyone. Plus, at McClarty Daniel, you're protected. Drive worry-free for seven years or 200,000 miles with the MD pre-owned advantage. And when it's time to sell your car, we're ready to buy it, even if you don't buy from us. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country yet? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker here. Two minutes, 51 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Grizzlies have the ball, second and 10 at the 43-yard line. Two split to the left-hand side, one split to the right. There's the snap, rolls to the left. Cats turn it back in, doing a good job chasing the quarterback back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's a great job of Tommy Hudson. He's, he played underneath that offensive guard's block who pulled out there to block him on the play action, chased down the quarterback from behind. That's just an effort play, and that's what it takes to win these uh, playoff games, Don. you got to play above your ability level. Three split to the left, one split to the right for Northside. Third down and ten. Looks like they're going to go to the sideline here for play confirmation. Mixing it up at the line of scrimmage here for the snap. Two seconds, one second on the clock. They get the snap off, drops back, looks over the top. Intercepted by the Wildcats. Cats get the ball back. Here we go. Once again, another volley back and forth. Great job by the defense. They bend, they won't break. You know, we got the rough at the kicker. Running into the kicker, we uh, overcame that. 
Great job. That's just playing center field. Yeah, that's just playing center field. Exactly right. All right, taking over possession here. Chavez on the interception for the Cats. First and ten. Cats have the ball at the 18-yard line. They got one split to the right, two split to the left. Takes the snap, hands it off to Brewer. Brewer gets, bounces it to the outside. It gets across the first down marker, crosses the 30, gets to the 31. It'll be first down for the Cats. You know, Donald, uh, Brewer seems to be pretty hot tonight. I'm, uh, I'm no longer coaching, but it uh, doesn't take a scientific rocket to figure out. Just keep on handing that guy the ball. <laughs> First and 10 for the Cats. Ball's at the 31. One minute 44 to go in the first quarter. There's the snap. Hands it off to Burr again up the middle. Looks like he's got about four yards on the carry. Yeah, Donald, it's just a hard inside run between the guards. Doesn't look like much, but here it is. It yielded, what, four yards? Yeah. So, you know, if you keep on pounding away, that those two defensive tackles are going to get worn out by the end of the game, and that's when the big ones start happening. If you keep on leaning on somebody, pecking away, pecking away, pecking away, eventually they're going to fold. They're going to get tired of holding up to all the pounding they're fixing to get. Two to the left, one split to the right, second down and six at the 35. There's the snap. Brewer again. Fights forward. He's going to get – it's going to be close, maybe a foot on that play. Third down and five at the 35. 40 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Two split to the right-hand side, one split to the left. Brewers on the right-hand side of Livingston. Livingston hands it off to Brewer underneath again. Brewer fights forward, gets the first down, crosses the 45. Donald, that delayed draw, that really draws those the defensive ends upfield. Great job right here being patient, getting behind his blockers. You know, last two snaps, that snap and the snap previous, Northside has gone what we call a bear defense. Some people call it a double eagle. Stands for two three techniques. We refer to an eagle as a three technique, double eagle, two three techniques, and a zero nose. That was made famous by Buddy Ryan in the 85 Bears. What it allows Northside to do is get five guys in line of scrimmage. If you commit five to line of scrimmage, though, once you break the line of scrimmage, there's not a whole lot behind the line of scrimmage. Right. So it's kind of a feast or famine defensive front. So that's the end of the first quarter. Cats in the lead, seven to nothing. Fresh 12 minutes on the clock. So I like the uh, the play selection so far. We got some create. We you know seen plays tonight that we haven't seen all year. Yeah, and you know what, Donald, getting back to that double eagle defense, the Northside's running. If they continue to stay in that, I believe Coach Wood's going to continue to run the power and the counter game, which is a gap offensive play where you wash down the front side and you kick out the front side edge. Kind of an old school wing T play. You're just angle blocking. Um, we can catch people in the wash, and that's when the big ones happen. One to the left, one split to the right. Drops back. Livingston fires deep downfield. Oh, oh, my goodness. Over the top, touchdown, <laughs> Harbor Wildcats. That is a great play by Alvis. Just <laughs> keeping an eye on the football. <laughs> hey, that may be on Sunday morning NFL countdown. You got mossed. <laughs> yeah, watch him go up. High point this ball, go over the top. Well, I don't even know if he went over the top. He just yeah. ended up with it. Hey, but what happened? What started that thing off with? And I'll go back up throw. Great protection by the offensive line and the two running backs. They, north side ran a twist stunt right there. The offensive line running backs ate it up, and that allowed the quarterback to get the ball gone. Great pass by Noah Livingston. Extra point team on the field. The kick is up. The kick is good. And it's 14 nothing here for the Cats. I think we kind of pretty much broke it down there just a second ago. That's yeah, you guys got a new drawer up here. I'm sorry I'm not as good as Coach Davies here. <laughs> were, you, but, uh, were you doing tic-tac-toe on the screen? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. It may be too late. Let's just move on. Coach Davies is just rolling his eyes at home. I know he is. Yeah, well, he fancies himself as John Madden. Put the John Madden telestrator on somebody. There's the ex there's the uh, 
the replay. I, you know, just that's just a great job, great situation. Awareness comes down with the football, scores the uh, scores a touchdown, puts the Cats at 14, 14 nothing here at Wildcat Stadium. Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff coming at you. Look like you were doing a hangman over there. Are you doing hangman? Yeah, Donald, I'm almost ready to touch this piece of high technology. Folks out there, I'll get it right. I will get it right. So here is the kickoff. I kick. It's going to be fielded at the four-yard line, and here comes Northside. Crosses the 20. Hit hard. The 25. That's Chavez just slamming the gate shut on the Grizzlies. Okay, Donald, let's go out there and get a stop, get off the field, get the ball back to our offense. Yeah, Livingston, who's you know hasn't taken a lot of snaps, hasn't played quarterback in a game this year, has done a great job with passing touchdowns. Yeah, he's done a great job, but, hey, let's credit his supporting cast, the offensive line and, and the running backs in protection. Hey, anybody feel comfortable back there? Three to the right, north side with the ball. There's the snap, hands it off. Gets Big Tyler. Gets hit outside. Brought down by number 71. Is it 77? Number 77, yeah, Tyler sorry. Hart. Tyler Hart is much a man in there. Second down and 12. Ball's at the 23-yard line, 11-24 to go. Grizzlies come to the line of scrimmage. they got two split to the right, two split to the left. Snap, looks left, throws left, caught at the 30, hit immediately at the 30-yard line. It's like Taylor's there, Warren Hall's there. Yo, Donald, hey, you can't put you can't put a price on, on, on sure open field tackling, and that's exciting to see. You know, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing to get a guy down. Third down, or excuse me, second down, third down, and a long three from the 32. To the right, to the left, drops back, looks right, flushes out of the pocket. It's like he's going to run, but he gets wow, hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. Is that Warren Hall coming up there? It's Warren Hall's there. Wow. Tillery's there. You know, that's Hudson. surprising. You no, know, initially Donald thought we are going to lose contain, but Warren Hall did a great job staying at home, breaking down in the open field, and wrapping the guy up. That, that was a textbook tackle. So fourth down and two from the 33. Northside punt team is on the field. There's the snap. There's the kick and no running into the punter this time. Fair catch. <laughs> Which in. You know, Donald, I'm gonna tell you right now and I, I try to tell everybody this. Receiving a punt is the loneliest position in all the sports. Folks, right. that thing disappears into the darkness of the sky, and all of a sudden it's in your face before you know it, and people are bearing down. That is a lonely spot. That goes way underappreciated. Yeah, absolutely. Almost as under underappreciated as the offensive line. That's exactly right. Well, we're going to talk about those guys tonight. <laughs> First and ten, cats at the line of scrimmage. Two to the right, one to the left. There's the snap. Hands it off. No, fakes the handoff. Throws it over the, the side. Great pass play by Livingston. Dumps it off to Kramer. That's a first down for the Cats. Great play fake by a running back. Drawing those linebackers in. I got to tell you, Coach, coming into tonight's game, knowing how many snaps Livingston has not had, I expected a lot of running. I did too. Donald thought we are going to pack it down and try to get three yards in the cloud of dust. Two to the left, one to the right, hands it off to Brewer. Brewer finds a seam. Oh, he gets tackled. Just a little bit. Uh-oh, what we got here? Flag on the play. Personal foul, horse caller, defense number 36. Horse caller. That 15 yards is added to the end of the run. First down, Harbor. So 15-yard penalty, horse collaring against Northside. So that's a big break for the Cats. That is, Donald. You know, a lot of times you see horse collaring as you're sitting on your couch at home yeah. and you're hollering for it. Doesn't often get called, but right there, we'll take it. Yeah. 
That was from the uh, offensive holding spot. That, that, that's kind of what I thought it was. So first and 10, the ball's at the 42. Cats have it lined up two to the left, one split to the right. Brewer on the right-hand side of Livingston. There's the snap. Brewer gets it right up the middle. He's going to fall forward. Looks like he's going to pick up about five yards. It's a good little surge for the Cats. Yeah, once again, Donald, they're back there in that, that bare defense, that double eagle defense. And, you know, the thing is, they're going to wash down the front side. And you saw our left guard, Peyton, he pulled around the corner. He's hunting down linebackers. That, that the kind of play that, that, that Harbor's known for offensively is, is tailor-made to defeat the double eagle defense. Second down and sixth. From the 38, two to the left, one split to the right. There's Reeder. Reeder gets it up the middle, and he hits, gets stood up, and it looks like he's going to get a yard on the carry. Now, and that was just the same play going the other way. I mean, you know, Coach Wood's going to go the well till the well runs dry. So third and five for the Cats. Eight minutes and nine seconds left to go in the first half. The first half is just flying by. Cats come with one split to the right-hand side, two split to the left-hand side. There's the snap. Livingston drops back, looks left, right, throws right to Peyton McKee. Oh, in and out of his hands. That could have been a touchdown. Could have been, Donald. And I, I, you know, one would say it should have been, but, you know, that would have taken a great individual effort by Peyton McKee. But once again, we gave our quarterback an opportunity there through the protection, great protection. So they'll bring up fourth down and five for the Cats. Two split to the left-hand side, one split to the right. Oh, Ooh, we got him now. That's a quick snap or quick, basically just drawing him off sides. Yeah, get the old Phillip Rivers hard count going on. <laughs> hard count, that's what I was looking for. Prior to the snap, encroachment on the defense, number 95. That five-yard penalty will not result in a first down, fourth down. So it is still fourth down, just short of the sticks. I mean, well, it's got <laughs> to be at least, I mean, less than a foot. Right now, that offensive line saying, let's go get it. To the right. Oh, Trom again. off sides again. <laughs> <laughs> Encroachment defense number I 55. I love using the snap that as a five-yard weapon. penalty results in a first down harbor. You know, hey, and that's an underappreciated part of playing the quarterback is voice infliction. Right. Voice infliction. You know, when you're at defensive line, you're sitting over there and you're used to the same cadence, same cadence, and then all of a sudden you get a hard count. You, you just, you, you're ready to go. And Northside's going to take a timeout. I'm sure they're going to get some extra coaching. We're going to take the timeout with them. 7.42 to go in the half. 14 nothing. Cats in the lead. We'll be back right after this. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Wildcats. Cats have the ball. First and 10 at the 27. Pretty sure Northside got some extra coaching there, Coach. He did. They probably got a motivational seminar over there. <laughs> to the right. There's the snap. Drops back, looks right, throws right. And that's a little bit overthrown. It looks like he kind of got tied up there, the defender. Intended for Payne McKee. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Wood would just want to try to go stick a fork in him right here and get three scores up. Second down and 10 from the 27. Two to the right. Same formation. Hands it off to Brewer. Brewer's going to get to the right edge, and he's going to get tied up at the line of scrimmage. You know, hey, Donald, that was a great play by the defensive end from north side. He just kind of beat us. As old Coach Williams you say, don't get whipped at the point of attack. And we kind of did right there. We just got outflanked by the defense. And so, hey, that's going to happen. 
Third and 10 at the 27, 7.15 to go in the half. Fifteen seconds left in the play clock, making some adjustments at the line. Two split to the right, one split to the left-hand side. Brewers to the left of Livingston, there's a snap. Livingston looking right, fires right, over the top, in and out of his hands, incomplete. Pass intended for Kramer. Well, you know what? We uh, we definitely found something we like. It's about three plays in a row, same thing, and uh, have a feeling we're going to do it again. And we are fourth down, fourth and long. Ramirez on for the field goal. It's like about a 44-yarder. Wants well, to be exciting here. Snap is down. The kick is up, and that is not going to make it. Well, we ate some clock there, Donald. Yep, that we did. 6.42 to go. Grizzlies get the ball back. We had some shots at the end zone. That's kind of all you asked for. Well, I mean, yeah, and you get down there in the red zone, put some pressure on the opposing defense, and, you know, try to take your chances, try to take your shots. You know, we hadn't talked about, Donald, tomorrow's opening day of modern gun season. I'd like to encourage everybody to be ethical and responsible as they go out to hunt. I know there's a lot of people out there tonight getting ready, making final preparations. Everybody enjoy, and if you have an opportunity, take a child hunting. That's a good PSA. Yeah, sounds like I ought to work for the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> first and 10 from the 20, 6.42 to go here in the first half at Wildcat Stadium. Grizzlies come with three to the right, one split to the left-hand side. There's the snap. Hands it off on the oh, right hand great side. Great job, big Tyler Hart. Hart doing a good job of just smashing up the offensive backfield. That's what we used to say back in coaching days blind dog in a meat shop. Look at old Tyler come firing off the ball. He's just looking for, a, looking for an acorn back there. A blind dog in a meat shop. You bet. Second down and 11 at the 19 yard line. Two to the right, two split to the left. There's a snap, drops back. Flushing to the right. He's going to do a good job of making something out of nothing. Yeah, and for all intent purposes, good job by the Harbor defense. We lost contain a little bit, and we allowed the quarterback to stretch it out. Hey, we still got him there in a third and medium situation. I've seen Gonzalez running all the way over to the sideline yeah. there and just pursuing. Yeah, anytime you get old 99, Big Mike running the sideline, something good's going to happen. Yeah. If he's going to go that far, he's going to make sure he gets his money's worth. It's funny you say that. I remember back in my day playing, if I'm running over there, something is going to get hit. That's right. Third down and five at the 25. Diamond formation for the Grizzlies. Takes the handoff and throws it over the top. Incomplete. Whoa, we got some. What the heck is that going on over there? Did you see that over no, on the other sideline over there? Okay. I did not. So it's fourth down for the Grizzlies. Grizzlies will bring the punt team on the field. So, Donald, will this be our fourth or fifth, fifth possession of the half? Fifth possession fifth of the possession. half. Yeah, that's, that's good numbers. There's a snap, and a kick is up. It is going to be short. And it looks like it's going to check up at the 45. So the Cats will have the ball first and 10 at the 45-yard line. they got five minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the half, and they got the lead 14-0. You know, Donald, hey, look, we've been very fortunate. You know, uh, some things that plagued us at the beginning of the season was our average starting field position. Many times we found ourselves backed up in, you know, the minus 10 or less. You know, this game, uh, the average starting field position in any game, I think, in my opinion, is a, is a great predictor to success. And here we are taking over possession at the 45. Two to the right, one split to the left. There's a snap, drops back for the screen underneath. 
That is caught for about, uh, looks like about two and a half, maybe three yards that's dumped off to Alves. So it'll be second down and eight at the 47-yard line. Cats come to the line of scrimmage. Got two split to the right, one split to the left. There's the snap. Hands it off the middle. Reader's going to hit at the line of scrimmage. Okay, so Donald, they playing that, that bare front. That was a free hitter. We didn't have a blocker for number 27. You know, in a situation like that, you, that back has got to press the line of scrimmage or he's going to get caught from behind. Now, the plus thing to that is is that we could fake that handoff or on a naked boot and you would have no contain. Right. So, you know, it looked pretty good. Worked out for north side there, but they committed everybody to the running back. It's almost a Hail Mary pass on the defense. It, it, it is. It is. It's a feast for famine situation. Well, the Cats are going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. Third and eight from the 47, 14 nothing. Cats in the lead. We'll be back right after this. Clay Max at NWA, it's just an easy, customer-centered experience. Right now is probably the easiest time that I've ever seen to achieve financing for people on maybe even a more expensive vehicle or more accommodating vehicle for their family. I've got the best inventory, I would say, in the state, and my people are not only experienced in the car business, but they're experienced in the people business. Whether you just check us out online or you check us out in person, we want you to visit us. Clay Max at NWA and ClayMaxCNWA.com. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. 7.27 to go in the first half. 14 to nothing. Cats in the lead. Cats have done a good job of executing the game plan. So yeah, far. they are. And, you know, hey, Noah Livingston, who who would have thought it? You know, it's not like he hadn't played the position, but it's been a while and definitely sure. this year. Right. I mean, that's tough to ask a kid to come in, I mean, cold. So, hey, son, you're going to start taking snaps this week, I'm sure. At the beginning of this week, he was like, oh, my goodness, here yeah. we go. Eat my Wheaties, that's for sure. Cats at the line of scrimmage, two split to the left, one split to the right. There's the snap. Livingston drops back, looks to the right. He's going to keep it. Goes around the left-hand side, crosses the 50. Now bring a fourth down. You know, Donald, Northside's starting to play a three deep. They're keeping three defenders back deep because we've thrown so many deep balls. So they're not they're gonna try not to let us get behind them. So it's fourth and five at the 50 yard line. Four minutes and nineteen seconds left to go in the half. Punt team on for the Cats. Well, the way our defense has been playing, Donald, I think Coach Wood feels pretty good. If we get out there, we'll get another shot or two at the end zone. Hudson Brewer back for punt. There's the kick. It is low and driving. It's going to hit at the 20. Rolls across the 15, rolls across the 10, and still going. Down to the five-yard line. That is a great punt and great field position for the defense. Yeah, you know, we're talking about uh, contract negotiations. Noah Livingston didn't think he'd signed up to play quarterback this year. Same thing with our punter. You know, you know with Brewer playing playing punter, hey, you know what? Somewhere I wouldn't be surprised at him. Maybe not this game, maybe next game. There might be something in there for Brewer on a fake punt. Yeah, uh, luck with your heads up. First and ten for Northside at the, at the five-yard line. Four minutes, six seconds left to go in the half. Cats in the lead, 14 to nothing. Come to the line of scrimmage with two split to the right-hand side, two split to the left-hand side. Hands it off the middle, but that door gets slammed shut by the defense. Yeah, Miguel Avila. Warren Hall in there as well. Warren Hall is always going to be around there somewhere. Yep. He's like a, was it a blind dog in a meat shop? Yeah, Sounds blind dog in a meat shop. <laughs> Second and 10, three minutes, 38 seconds left to go in the half. Two split to the right. Northside's got two split to the left. There's the snap. Rolls to the right. Warren Hall again. 
on the tackle. He's going to pick up a yard, maybe two. You know, I, 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 I do, I do like you guys know when I was on the sideline, I love to watch Warren Hall play. That guy, he's, he's a throwback type player. He doesn't wear fancy gloves or pads. He just flat gets after it. Yep. So third and seven at the eight yard line now, 320 on the clock. It's a big play here for Northside because if they do not convert, you know they're punting, and that's going to put the Cats in great field position. Diamond formation, one to the right. Makes the handoff, looks to the right. He has nobody oh, oh, to throw it to. Oh, and he's going to get two. tackled at the one and a half, maybe two yard line. They sent one man downfield. There was no one else to throw to. Yeah, well, nobody. They're trying to run a stutter and go. Um, you know, as Coach Davis used to call that, quickie fake long. That's a that's a play that uh, he ran in the backyard when he's growing up with his brothers. <laughs> they sent the single receiver. He kind of stuttered, stalked, and then he'd go. But once again, look who's making the tackle. Our guy, number 43, Warren Hall. Fourth down and 12 from the three. Punt team on. The punter is literally just inside the back of the end zone. There's the kick. Caught at the 45, and here come the Cats. Crosses Ooh, the 35, crosses the 30, out of bounds at the 28. There's a flag uh, on the play. Dear Lord. It's like two flags. See what the call is. I turned and looked just as it was happening. I didn't see what was going on, though. Well, there was some carnage out there, Donald. I mean, people were flying around. It looked like bowling pins over at Springdale Bowling Alley. <laughs> there we go. Illegal block in the back on number 43 of the return team. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. First down, Harbor. So, block in the back. I guess, what's the call if they're if bad publicity is still publicity? Still publicity. That's right. If Warren Hall was running for political office today, wow, right there. <laughs> yeah. That's a hustle play. Well, he said he was sorry, so there shouldn't have been a flag. Two on the right, one split to the left. Comes the snap. There's the pitch down to the right-hand side. He's wide open. It's off to the races. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. Alves doing a good job. He's untouched the whole way. Alves had a great night tonight. So the Cats go up again. Six more points. Puts 20 on the board with two minutes, 19 seconds left to go in the half. Extra point team is on the field. Taylor holds Ramirez kicks, or will kick. There's the kick. The kick is up, and the kick is good. The Cats 21, the Grizzlies zero. We can break down that play here. So that touchdown developed. All right, guys. Hey, what we got right there? We got a lot of. We got a great job by the offensive line sealing the front. We got two lead blockers on the edge that pin the linebackers to the inside. Great perimeter blocking out here. And on that fly sweep, we just found an alley. We pressed the sideline, and there he tight roped it in. Sean Kramer doing a good job of sealing the edge there to create th that open yes. seam. So the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff coming at you here with two minutes and 19 seconds left to go in half. This half has flown by. Okay, Don, we still have two timeouts. And, uh, you know, if we get down there and play some defense, use our timeout, manage our clock, we still might have another shot at the end zone. Sounds like a good plan for me. Line drive kick. Hits at the 10-yard line. The five picked up at the four. 
Crosses the 10. He's got the ball. Crosses the 20. Crosses the 30. And he's going to break. Crosses the 50. Tackled by Ramirez at the 48-yard line. Let me tell you something. There's a breakdown on a kickoff if the kicker is making tackles. Yep, never good for your kicker to be making the highlight film, but it, as was, he saved a, saved a touchdown right yeah, there. he did. So the most positive yards the Grizzlies have had all night. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. They've got two, two minutes and 10 seconds to do something. Or unfortunately for the Grizzlies, I think Alvis is going to score another touchdown. Snap, left-hand side, options. The last minute crosses the 40, the 35, tackled out of bounds at the 32. A little different wrinkle. We hadn't seen that tonight, but that's an effective play for sure. Got a Warren Hall checking the guy out of the game. Will Haney back in there. Boy, once again, it's great to see old Will Haney. Will Haney's one of the toughest kids you'll ever meet. It's a pleasure to watch him play. Two to the right, two to the left. There's the snap. Again, options to the right. Here comes Haney, chases him out of bounds. And Haney does a good job of just shutting it down before he gets a penalty. Yeah, he was actually outflanked on his pursuit angle because of his athletic ability and toughness. He was able to catch up and just sho shove it out for a marginal gain. Like I said earlier, if I'm chasing someone to the sideline, I'll chase you to the cheap seat. Somebody's going to get hit. But he does a good job. Taking one for the team and chokes it down. Second down and nine from the 31. Two split to the left, two split to the right for Northside. There's the snap, hands it off on the left-hand side. Hits his own guy, recovers, picks up about five more yards. That was, that was just a great play by the entire Harbor defense. You know, we set the edge, turned it back in to help. Big Mike was a part of that. Will Haney was a part of that. I go back to this. Not a lot of people know this. Two games ago, Will Haney was on the sideline biting down on a towel as the doctors and the trainers reset his shoulder, dislocated his shoulder. That guy's a tough old bird, but he's got limited games left in his high school career. He's going to make sure he makes the most of it. Yep. Third down and fourth to 26, 120 on the clock. One split to the right. Diamond formation for the Grizzlies. There's the snap. Hands it off on the right-hand side, and that is what a Wildcat gate looks like. He just slammed it shut. Yeah, big Tyler Hart pushing the envelope in there, making his presence known. Kind of looks like big Tony Saragusa. So the Cats are going to take a timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout with them. Cats in the lead, 21-0 with 104 to go. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. Arkansas's largest furniture destination, get it at Sam's. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. That tall drink of water next to me is Don Strubing, Big Don, usually down in the trenches. He's up in the in the sky booth tonight. Well, you guys got it good up here in the VIP section. You got heated seats, and there's food down there on the far end. Three to the right, two now split to the left. Quarterback drops back, looks to the right. He's got a guy deep in the end zone, and he does score. That's a touchdown for Northside. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, you hated to do that this close to the half. You had something really good cooking. Kind of gives them some spirit, gives them an opportunity to get back in it. And it wasn't – this guy, he just kind of running his route wide open. Hey, give him credit to the quarterback for finding him. Right. So Northside lines up for the extra point. Snap is down, a kick is up, and a kick is good. And the Cats 21, the Grizzlies 7. We're going to take a quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this.
you can love where you live and play at an apartment community managed by Lindsay Management Company. Affordable apartments with awesome amenities, including clubhouses, fitness center, pools, tennis and basketball courts, and playgrounds at select locations. Many locations also include golf privileges, business centers, game rooms, tanning beds, whirlpools, saunas, and resort-style swimming pools. View rates, photos, and apply online at lindsaymanagement.com. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. 21-7, to 7, 56 seconds left to go in the half. First week of the playoffs, Arkansas High School football. It's deer season, as you so eloquently laid it out for everybody. Yep. This is fall in the Ozarks. It is. A lot of people, this is, uh, this is like Christmas Eve to a lot of folks right here tonight. So the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff is going to be short. Fielded at the 10. Here come the Cats. That's Reader. Crosses the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, the 40, <laughs> the 45. It's a, He's grabbing gears down the sideline. He's off to the races and he's Pulling away. That is a touchdown for the Harper Wildcats, and there is no laundry on the field. Great job, Elaine Reeder. You know, we tried to uh, we tried to run the starburst return. I was kind of concerned about it because of where the ball landed over here in this corner. See the ball's kicked deep down there. You're going to have a point man. He's going to take it to the point man. There's going to be some handoffs. And Lane just reverse field, let, uh, let his ability level take over and just – Sid. I, I love watching this. There's, there's what, a yard? Hey, great veteran this. move. I, you know, I don't know if you guys saw that, but you see Lane switch the ball to his left hand. Yeah, away from, he, the, away from the defenders. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's an underappreciated part of the game of a ball carry. Extra point good for the Cats, 28-7. to seven. Basically, Wildcats saying if you're going to score on us, we're going to score right back at you. Now those big hogs up front on that defensive line are thinking, golly, we got to go back out there. Yeah, I was just, just had my helmet off. Well, a different look for the Cats offensively. We got Livingston out there throwing passes. We got great execution, as you mentioned, to the offensive line. Everything's clicking offensively and defensively, for that matter. You know, obviously it's 28 to seven. This is a great. This is exactly the first round of Wildcat football for the first round of playoffs that I was looking for. Yeah, you know, I, I give credit to the offensive coaching staff for coming up with the game plan on a short weekend. To, to really take advantage of the things that Noah can do. And, you know, let's let's give credit to that offensive line, those running backs. Great protection. He hadn't right. been sniffed all that long. And when you have a guy that's not used to feeling pressure, when he doesn't get pressure, he doesn't think about pressure. Right. So the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff. Ramirez back for the kick, or two kick. And it's a low squib kick off the ground, 20, picked up, crosses the 20, kicks it to the outside, and going to be tackled out of bounds by Kramer for the Cats. Now to give the Grizzlies about 36 seconds to try to do something with the football. Okay, Donald, they've, they've, both teams have one timeout left here. Mark Jenkins with the tackle. So first and 10 for the Grizzlies, 29 yard line. Grizzlies come with two to the right, two split to the left. There's the snap, fakes the handoff, looks right, throws right, caught out of bounds at the 36. That'll be second down and three. Yeah, Northside just trying to work the sideline to probably keep everything to their sideline so they can get out of bounds. Second down and three, two to the right, two again to the left. Same formation. Snap, takes the handoff, looks left, throws across the middle, incomplete. Now to bring up third down. And three. Yeah, we got fortunate there, Don. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. So I noticed there, if they would have caught that, Taylor was right there. And then 
it's hard to come in full head of speed and make that vicious hit, and then when it's incomplete, to pull up. Yes, yes. Pull up at the last minute. And you see that all the time. You know, sometimes defenders get placed in a precarious situation because of that. To the right, hands it off on the right-hand side. Gets to the edge, but does not get – well, maybe they're going to give him the spot. That's a very healthy spot for Northside. Healthy spot. You know, once again, they're keeping it running to their bench. There's a couple advantages of that. You know, when you're playing to the short side of the field, you can get out of bounds quicker, but it also gives your head coach an opportunity to work the officials on that sideline. Right. So first and ten, the ball is at the 40-yard line, two to the right, two to the left, 13 seconds left to go in the half. There's the snap. Drops back, looks right, throws right, and then there's the hit. That is a first down completion. That's going to move the sticks. We've got four seconds to go. They're going to call a timeout. It's 28 to 7, four seconds left to go in half. Northside calls a timeout. What's the strategy, Coach? What's the – got to take a shot at the end zone. Yeah, right? they're gonna try, they've are gonna. they got to take a shot at the end zone. That last pass took them five seconds to – you know, they lost five seconds of game clock on that last play. Well, Harbor's got to – and I'm sure they may put in another skill kid. Pull out a defensive lineman, put in another skill kid, back him up. Hey, the, the philosophy here, just keep everything rallied up, keep everything in front of you, just don't get beat deep. Ironically – Back 30-some years ago against Northside, the same exact scenario, and Northside, Joe Fred, does a draw. <laughs> well, we're, we're all spread out, you know, thinking it's going to be a deep pass, and they hand it off up the middle. So, so Cat's going to take a timeout. You know what, let's kick it to the timeout or the commercial right now during the timeout. 28-7, to seven, four seconds left to go in the half. Cats in the lead. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. So some of you keeping up with the uh, Springdale score. Conway 38, Springdale 7. Bryant 31, Heritage 7. Cabot 34, Rogers 0. Wow, that's kind of surprising there. Yeah. Three to the right-hand side. Quarterback drops back. Throws it deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. And that is going to take us into the halftime here at Wildcat Stadium, folks. Cats 28, Grizzlies 7. Don't go anywhere. we got lots of Wildcats coming at you right after this. Presented by McLarty Dick. Come see the largest pre-owned inventory in Northwest Arkansas. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it in McClarty Daniel Country. With 800 pre-owned vehicles at six giant locations in Bentonville and Springdale, there's something for everyone. Plus, at McClarty Daniel, you're protected. Drive worry-free for seven years or 200,000 miles with the MD pre-owned advantage. And when it's time to sell your car, we're ready to buy it, even if you don't buy from us. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country yet? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. This month, our biggest discounts on the highest quality lineup of vehicles are at Crane Buick GMC in Springdale. Right now, get up to 10,000 off new Sierras, up to 12,000 off new Yukons, and new Acadias are just $3.99 a month with zero money down. And just like always, you'll get the Crane commitment, including a 100-year, 100,000-mile warranty, because we are Arkansas-driven. Visit Crane Buick GMC of Springdale in the heart of Northwest Arkansas and online at CraneBuickGMCOfSpringdale.com. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure. 
Garrett on the counter, find a hole, Garrett inside the five, touch! Down, spring down. The band is under the direction of Jeremy Ford, C.J. Morris, Brandon Hanlon, Omar Alonso, and Mallory Vinzant. Miss Vinzant also coordinates our color guard. The band is on the, led on the field by drum majors Abby Sullivan, Aaron Falden, and Bethany Thomas. This evening, we would like to honor 11 seniors who were not able to be with us last Friday night when we celebrated Senior Night. We have that opportunity to honor these now. Haley Aguilar, alto saxophone, drill captain, and librarian. Mauricio Alvarez, percussion. Angela Cood, clarinet, two years color guard. Jonathan Dunlap, trumpet. Four years all region, two years all state, loading crew and trumpet drill captain. Aaron Lynn Falden, saxophone, four years all region, two years all state, drum major and color guard. William Hudson, tuba, four years all region, two years all state, loading crew, section leader. Lane Latchney, trumpet, two years all region, drill captain. Jerusalem Lowry, clarinet, four years all region. Ava McMoran, percussion, three years all region, drill captain. Jamie Quintana, clarinet, one year all region, two years color guard. And our head drum major, Abby Sullivan, percussion, two years all region. Please give these 11 Wildcat band members a warm round of applause as they receive their recognition this evening. And now we'll continue with our halftime presentation this year entitled The Greatest Hits of Harbor for the Final Time. It will showcase some of the band's most popular selections from our school's 15 year history. And now here they are taking pride in excellence, the Springdale Harbor High School Wildcat Marching Band.
to thank Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland, Instrumental Music Coordinator Damon Donnell, and all the Central Office staff, and Dr. Paul Greep and the administration of Harbor High School for their support of the arts in Springdale. Catering provided by Dominic. AQ Chicken House is open for dine-in and carry-out. We have taken the necessary measures to provide the comfortable dining atmosphere that you know and love. Kids eat free every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget senior night on Mondays and Wednesdays. So stop on in for your AQ Chicken favorites or get them to go. Let AQ Chicken serve you and your family today. AQ Chicken, a family tradition since 1947. Claymax at NWA, it's just an easy, customer-centered experience. Right now is probably the easiest time that I've ever seen to achieve financing for people on maybe even a more expensive vehicle or more accommodating vehicle for their family. I've got the best inventory, I would say, in the state, and my people are not only experienced in the car business, but they're experienced in the people business. Whether you just check us out online or you check us out in person, we want you to visit us. Claymax at NWA and ClaymaxCNWA.com. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. At Farmers Insurance, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything, even a rock and wreck. Yeah! He rocked and rolled right into it, but we covered it. At Farmers, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Call me, Bill McCain, to get smart about discounts. 751-7070. Hey, Riley, will you come in here real quick? Yeah, man, one sec. Hey, so I'm just, uh, I'm looking through some, some film myself, and, you know, I was thinking uh, if you would take a look at this. In other news, our Wildcat baseball team is, is going to face off against the, the... Hold up. What are you doing with your arm? I mean, you're distracting the audience by your chicken dance. Well, I just, I just thought it would, you know, bring more attention to myself. No, no. No? Okay, okay. Now we're going to talk about softball. The softball team, you know, they, they did okay this year, and uh, it's... This is totally unprofessional. You're just spinning in circles, and it's not looking good, man. Well, I thought that, that maybe the different angles would be kind of cool. No, no. Welcome back, guys. Uh, here we are back in the Wildcat Sports Network studio. We're going to be talking a little bit about the softball. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you about that. I have uh, the coaches in the studio we're talking. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Cats on the field, warming up, getting ready for the second half. Speaking of which, Coach, the first half, 28-7. to 7, I'll take it. Yeah, Donald, good stuff. You know, uh, going back to how we improved from last week, we had great special teams play, solid special teams play. Didn't put ourselves, didn't give the ball away, didn't put ourselves in a hole. We've had great average starting field position. Hey, defensively. Great gang tackling, great open field tackling. Offensively, we've been able to establish the run, 
protect the passer. Hey, and we've had had opportunities, and we, we have connected deep on some deep balls. So, you know, when we came in this game, not really knowing how Livingston was going to play at the quarterback, um, you know, it's been nice to see him grow and develop just over this one game. Right. So, uh, a lot, lot of growth, a lot of improvement. You know, we go back and we talk about how most your improvements from week one to week two. I, I see this team has improved dramatically just from last, last week. week right. Yeah, and so, but I think through that improvement, it's been a, a decision by the coaching staff to, and I don't want to say simplify things, but definitely hone them down. We're not doing a whole lot that's uh, extra sexy Razzle, here. I mean, Razzle, yeah, right. I mean, it's just kind of just playing football. Right. So the Cats come onto the sideline, 28 to 7. I'm glad. Like that's, I've really expected a you know a nail biter, and I wasn't, I'm not saying physically excited about that, but uh, 28 to nothing is a comfortable lead going into half. It is now. Now here's the challenge coming down to halftime, Donald. Can we take, you know, can we take possession of this opening drive? and put it in the end zone. Right. And right now there's a little bit of doubt over there on the Grizzly side of the field. You know, another score to uh, they're going to tell the bus driver to warm the bus up, right. you know. So up. so but but there's you got to take care of business here. Right. You can't come out and play sloppy. And we need to, you know with how you play with the lead is almost as important as how you get back to level ground. So um, here we go. So the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff Grizzlies kicking off to the Wildcats. And there's the kick. Low driving out of the back of the end zone. The Cats will get it first and 10 from the 20 yard line. That kick goes through the end zone. It'll be first and 10 for the Wildcats from the 20 yard line. So what's the strategy for the offense the second half after you hung 28 so far on the Grizzlies. Well, I mean, you want to come out and establish. I, th I think I think Coach Wood wants to come out and establish the run game. Um, you know, if you can establish a run game, you can do about anything. So I think he'll – I'd like to think he'll come out and try to play some bully ball and eat the clock here. Two to the right. <clears throat> Livingston dropping back, throws across the middle to McKee. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. Well, instead of playing bully ball, he decided to try to put a dagger in and move the chains quickly. Once again, great protection by that offensive line running backs. You know, we've had zero pressure on our quarterback. And hey, that was a great ball by Livingston. A little bit dangerous, but we had some zip on that. Yeah, thing. it was on a laser. Two split to the right. Two split to the left. Hands it off up the middle to Burb. Brewer just literally... Strong as it forward for a yard and a half, two yards. Yeah, you know, he That's talk about strong and it forward. Oh, legendary coach Fred Hartsfield would say he outbigged him right there. That's right. Third down and eight <clears throat> for the Cats. Ball's at the 21 yard line. Cats come to the line of scrimmage. They got two to the right, one split to the left. There's a snap, Livingston dropping back, look at the screen, dumps it off, caught, crosses the first down stick, gets to the 36 yard line. That pass yeah, we got some laundry on the field back here, Donald. Yep. Lying down on the play. And on the offense, number 73, half the distance to the goal, play third down. So that's gonna go against the cat, that's gonna back him up. Half the distance to the goal. That is the wrong direction we're trying to get to. Yeah, and that's what we talked about coming out, trying to play clean in the second half. So third down. <clears throat> Cats come with two to the right-hand side, one split to the left-hand side. There's the snap. Livingston hands it off underneath the Brewer. Brewer's on his horse, crosses the 20, crosses the 30, gets the first down. Crosses the 35 out of bounds at the 37-yard line, and just like that, Cats get the first one. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, once again, I think we went to that wraparound draw. We hadn't done that all year, and it's been highly successful for us tonight. You know, what sells that is the quarterback showing pass, and at last minute slipping into the gut of the running back. That was almost a uh, Mahomes third down and long situation. We managed to get out of that. 
Nice KC reference. Cats hand the ball up the middle. That's Reeder. Reeder is going to pick up, it looks like, about five yards. Lane Reeder with a four-yard pickup. Second and six, Wildcats. Okay, second manager. We'll hear Donald playbooks wide open. We can do about anything we want. So the Cats come to the line of scrimmage. They got two to the right, one split to the left. Takes the handoff, fires, caught at the 50 yard line. Tackled forward to the 48. That's Kramer on the tackle, or excuse me, on the completion. Coach Wood calling a game that fits into Noah's hands right here. These throws are not, not crazy hard, but yeah, he's building confidence as we continue to move the chains. Levinson dropping back, fires. Wide open on the completion, crossing out of bounds at the, it's like the 16, 17 yard line. Again, Kramer on the completion. Yeah, right here we had a little cross action in the backfield that caused the linebackers to peak a little bit too long. And a great throw and catch. So the Cats have the ball, first and 10, just inside the Storms Orthodontics red zone. 17 yard line. One to the left, two split to the right. There's the snap. Brewer up the middle. Brewer gets across the 15-yard line. Going to be tackled at the 14. Cats have the ball. Second down and six. Kendra Esau with the tackle. So Cats come to the line of scrimmage. They got two split to the right-hand side, one split to the left. 9.32 to go in the third quarter. Cats 28, Grizzlies 7. There's the snap. Fakes to Brewer. Livingston throws. He's going to get hit as he throws it. That is going to be incomplete. That pass incomplete. Yeah. For looks, I believe that's the first time he's been hit they, as he's trying yeah, to throw the ball. Yeah, There's I think it is. I don't know if I'm able to see the replay here, but I think they brought, brought pressure in the opposite direction that we were sliding in protection. So if you bring pressure to the opposite side of the way we're sliding protection, you're going to have a short edge, and that's exactly what happened right there. Good job of Lemmy. You know, getting rid of the ball. So Cats come to the line of scrimmage. Got two to the right. Brewer behind Livingston. And they're going to draw them off sides, and that's going to be a little bit of a forward momentum for the Cats. Ah, uh, Donald, this may come back on us here. Prior to the snap, encroachment, defense, number okay. 15. Five-yard penalty, still third. I think we got lucky right there. I think one of our receivers may have flinched. Third down and one. I'll call it two. Third and two, balls at the nine-yard line. Two to the right, Brewer split to the left, drops back, looks for Brewer, throws it. That ball is tipped as it goes across the line of scrimmage. I did like where that ball was being thrown. You know, we were targeting Brewer over there, the quarterback who was trying to throw that ball where either he could catch it or nobody could right. catch it. All right, That's what the right. heck here? Kind of weird timing. That is weird timing. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 15. Half the distance to the goal, first down Harbor. Is that unnecessary audible participation? Yeah, I believe there was some, some spirit, spirit talking up there. So that'll go against the Grizzlies. First down, First down and goal from the four yard line for the Cats. And the Cats are gonna call a timeout. We're gonna take a quick timeout with them. 28 to seven here, Cats about to score. We'll be back right after this. Time out with nine Ballpark Franks got their start in 1957. Right here in the ballpark. And with the taste of 100% Angus beef, passed down from one generation to the next, 
they soon became a tradition everywhere, bringing on the feeling of summer in every bite. Ballpark Franks, bring on summer. Welcome back to Wildcat Stadium. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Nine minutes, 17 seconds left to go in the third quarter here. Riding in the co-pilot seats, Big Dom Strubing up here in the booth. All right, Don, let's see if we can pin your ears back and go to work here. Cats come to the line of scrimmage. I guess their referees are talking to the north side coaches. <coughs> Kind of a heavy formation here, Donald. We've got a tight end with two backs in the backfield, uh, all receivers one side. So kind of a heavy run formation. To the right, Burr behind Livingston. Hands it off to Burr. Burr on the left-hand side. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. <laughs> Burr falling the left-hand side. For the touchdown. So extra point team on the field for the Cats. There's the kick. The kick is up and the kick is good. Hey, Donald, that was just a simple power play. They uh, they motioned the fullback over and just wrapped the backside guard and pulled, I mean, just classic power play. Same thing the Washington Redskins used to run when they had Russ Grimm and the original Hogs up there. Nothing fancy about it, but just power football. It's 35 to 7 here at Wildcat Stadium. Cats in the lead. Nine minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Donald my drawing a little bit squiggly, kind of in uh, in honor of Alex Trebek. Uh, never been on Jeopardy, but my drawing wouldn't be very good. It's not easy to do on the screen, that's for sure. Might be jittery because of those 17 Diet Cokes you have over there. Yeah, that's uh, probably a good indicator. <laughs> Blind dog in a meat factory, a meat shop. There's the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff. It's going to bounce into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Grizzlies will have the ball first and 10 from the 20. After the kickoff, it'll be first and 10 Grizzlies from the 20 yard line. <clears throat> Is that the 13th one? It's all the Diet Coke and drink up here. <laughs> You don't get too many Diet Cokes down in the trenches, do you? No, no. It's all it's uh, whatever you can cram in your pocket, sneak in the stadium. <laughs> First and 10 from the 20. Grizzlies have the ball. Nine minutes, 13 to go in the third quarter. They come to the line of scrimmage. They got three split to the left-hand side. There's the snap. Hands it off on the left-hand side, looking for the edge. Gets across the 30, tackled at the 34. Hey, credit Northside. It's just good hard outside run right there. Not a lot fancy that one either. That's just good old football play. They, they, they got to the edge. We lost contain, and they just got a pretty good gainer. Looks like we're going to have an injury timeout. Going to be a second. Let's kick it to the commercial, folks. We'll be back right after this. 35-7, to 7, Cats in the lead. We'll see you in just a second. Try the three and three meal at Slim Chickens. Three hand-breaded chicken tenders paired with three perfectly fried wings, shaken in your choice of house flavors. Served with fries, Texas toast, and a medium drink. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. At Northwest Health, we've made it easier to schedule a doctor's appointment. Online scheduling for our primary care physicians lets you make an appointment at any time from anywhere. 
It's the new way to book your next visit. MyNorthwestAnyCare.com. For over 20 years, Community Clinic has served Washington County with quality and affordable health care. With three wellness centers in Springdale, located at Jones, George, and Elmdale Elementary, our services include primary care, pediatrics, prenatal, behavioral health, and physical therapy. We offer services in English, Spanish, and Marcellese so that we can help your family. The Community Clinic. Healthy people. Healthy community. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Three to the right-hand side. Trying to draw the cats offside. That didn't work. There's the snap. Hands it off on the right-hand edge. Yeah, he's going to be tackled. Looks like about a three-yard gain for the Grizzlies. Almost well, looks like he's running with his eyes closed because he's just slammed in the back of his own guy. Yeah, sometimes those big guys don't get out of the way very fast right there. Second down and six at the 38. Eight minutes, 29 seconds left to go in the third quarter. I thought that was a flag, but somebody, I guess, threw their towel on the ground over there. Three to the left, one to the right. Hands it off up the middle. Tackled just short of the first down marker. Latimer Wilmoth on the tackle. Yeah, Latimer Wilmoth got in there and got a tackle. You know, we ba he bounced off the uh, run back, bounced off a couple defenders, and we got him down. He'll put him in a third and short situation. Donald, it's so hot up here, I'm succumbing to this heat right now. You look like you're in and out of consciousness. Yeah, uh, this corona mask is really dragging me down here. Seven minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Three split to the right-hand side. There's a snap, hands it off on the right-hand edge. He does get the first down mark, uh, first down mark but I will say the last several plays when they've run the ball, the defensive line has done a great job of just gumming up the middle. Yeah, they're not letting them have their first cut. They're stringing it to the second cut, which then that allows us to methodically string out the whole play. Our, our, our force defenders, our edge defenders, perimeter defenders are there waiting for them when we don't let them have their first cut. First and 10 at the 45, two to the right-hand side, two split to the left-hand side. There's a snap. Takes the handoff, rolls to the right, throws over the top, and that is going to be caught. Billy Tillery on the coverage. Tillery with the tackle. That will bring up second down and it's like three. We hadn't talked much tonight about Billy Tillery, but Billy Tillery has been an old uh, plow mule out there for the Harbor defense. You know, we've uh, hooked our wagon to him. He's plowed many good crop this fall, so uh, just, a, just a standout player, and uh, well, we're glad to have him. There we are. Two to the right, two split to the left. Our side snaps the ball. RPO to the left. Wow. Great that's play. a huge hit by Will Haney. Will Haney with a tackle. Boy, you know, Donald kind of gets me excited. You know, I have, I've had an opportunity to see Will Haney grow up and see him take this pursuit angle and watch his collision. Bang. You know, Will had some frustration built up not being on the field last week. But, uh, once again, guys, uh, you won't find a, a better just overall football player than Will Haney. I agree. I would not want to run to, the, to Will Haney's side of the field anymore. Two to the right, two split to the left. Quarterback dropping back. Come on, Will. Out of bounds, incomplete. Hey, great job of Latimer Wilma there. But, you know, he, he, he got originally on the ball fake. He kind of got sucked down the side, but he had enough athletic ability to get back and keep contained and, and pressure the passer to get rid of that ball. That was a great, great play by that defensive end. 6.33 to go. Third quarter, 35-7 cats in the lead. Second down and 10 for the Grizzlies. Ball's at the 43-yard line. Two split to the left for the Grizzlies, two split to the right. There's the snap, draws back, looks left, throws. That is incomplete. It 
hit him in the chest. You know, hey, when you're behind and you throw a ball, you got to catch him. You know, and you got to reward your quarterback. Things aren't going real good for Northside right now, but you've at least got to reward your quarterback when he puts the ball between your numbers. So that'll bring up third down and 10 at the 43, 629 to go. Grizzlies trying to get something together here. They adjusted the spot. Two split to the right-hand side. There's the snap. Fakes the handoff, rolls to the right. Throws underneath, in and out of the hands of the receiver again. Liam Taylor on the coverage. Yeah, great, great, great coverage with Liam Taylor. So two passes in the hands, two incomplete passes for the Grizzlies. Well, you know, it's still early in the third quarter, midway through the third, but the Grizzlies, the, this this spot on the field, they've got to think about taking a couple gambles here if they want to get back in this ball game. So it's four down from the 43. Wildcat defense doing a good job of just bowing, their, bowing up. To the left, fakes the handoff. Draws back, looks over the top, has a man open, wide open. That is a touchdown for the Grizzlies. Yeah, we got caught with our eyes in the backfield there a little bit. Great job by Northside. I don't want to wait to watch this replay, but I think they ran the wheel route out of the backfield. Oh, just a crosser. Just hit the far sideline, and he, did, we did, he did, was lost him in the secondary. So, you know, credit Northside. It's the way he puts the points on the board right there. So the Grizzlies line up for the extra point. There's the snap, bobbles the snap. They're gonna try to throw it, Liam Taylor intercepts it. That is no good for the conversion. The conversion's no good. That gives your Wildcats a 35-13 lead with 6.15 left to play in the third quarter. Okay, Don, we'll see if our offense go back out there and uh, make something happen. I guess they had a flag on a play, a legal man downfield, but I guess that happens when you, uh, yeah. you bobble the snap on the extra point. Six fifteen to go, third quarter here. Wildcats thirty-five, Grizzlies thirteen. It's time for the Cats to put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, it is, and uh, you know if we get up another score, we feel pretty good about it. You know, and, and there's a little added pressure in that. People think, you know, it's easy. You know, you're way ahead. No, you, you know, it's not. I mean, because now you're competing. Competing with yourself. And are, are, are you disciplined enough to move the ball without the pressure on you to have to move the ball? In other words, can you go out and take care of those little things that it's going to require to continue to go ahead and play? Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff. There's the onside kick. And the Cats cover. Well, it's going to be a good start and field position here. <laughs> it is. First and 10 for the Cats from the 48 yard line. Seems like insult to injury for the Northside Grizzlies. Yeah, if I know Coach Wood, I think I, I don't want to predict too much, but he'll probably go deep ball here pretty soon. That's right. Yep. You know, it's a great time to do it. Coming out, change of possession, your midfield. You know you can run the ball, or you have been able to up to this point. So, so the Cats come to the line of scrimmage. One split to the left, two split to the right hand side. There's a snap, Livingston drops back, dumps it to Reeder in and out of his hands, incomplete. Lane just got a little bit too excited right there. Wanted to run before he had the ball, and that's, uh, I think they had to be a big gainer right there. Second down and 10 from the 48 yard line, 6 11 on the clock, third quarter. That's making the adjustment. Split one to the left, two to the right. 
There's the snap, hands it off to Reeder. Reeder on the right-hand side looking for the edge. Cuts back inside, does pick up eight. Great job of Lane just stretching Lane that ball. Reader, and, you know, Reader, Lane's really yeah. good. At once he Thank stretches, he'll find that man. seam. And then once he commits, he's getting his shoulder Thank squared you. up the line of scrimmage or the goal line in that situation. Second down, or excuse me, third down and two from the 40. 5.45 to go. One split to the left, two split to the right. There's the snap. Throws it to McKee. McKee catches, crosses the 35, tackled at the 33. You know, I'm excited to see Harbor get back to doing some of that. We call those spot screens or hit screens. Really easy just to throw and catch by the quarterback. We we'll get the ball on the perimeter and just let the, let the receiver get what he can get. That's simple stuff. Not very hard. Gets, gets rid of the ball quick so the quarterback's not getting any pressure. But at the same time, it, it's high, high percentage completion stuff. 33-yard line at first and 10 for the Cats. Two split to the right, one split to the left. Cats are going to call a timeout. We're going to take the timeout with them. 5.38 to go in the third quarter. 35 to 13, Cats in the lead. We'll be back right after this. Nothing says game day like good friends and great food. And at Slim Chickens, we know great food. From our 100% all-natural chicken dinners, fresh-made wings served with house sauces, to delicious chicken sandwiches, crisp salads, southern sides, and desserts you just can't get anywhere else. At Slim's, we have the food you love, made fresh for the people you care about. Dine in, drive through, or order online. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. It's first and ten at the 33-yard line. Are you thinking deep strike? Yeah, probably so. <clears throat> One split to the left-hand side. Two split to the right. Livingston drops back. Throws. Caught to McKee, touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. There's your deep strike. Yeah, that was a great throw and catch right there. So the extra point team comes on the field for the Cats. Ramirez will kick, Taylor will hold. There's the snap, the kick is up, and the kick is good. And just like that, the Cats are at 42, the Grizzlies at 13. Yeah, McKee just got, was able to work off this out route by this inside receiver, and he just got behind the defenders. Great protection up in here as the offensive line. Great play fake by the running back at all time together. It's a great play action pass. Arvest Bank is a proud sponsor of the Harbor Wildcats. Stop by any of Arvest nearby locations to get the customer service you deserve. Yeah, Remember, FDIC. So some scores of interest. Bryant 34, Heritage 7, Cabot 41, Rogers 7. Conway 59, Springdale Bulldogs 14, Fayetteville 28, Little Rock Central 14. Donald, little Cabot score kind of surprised me. I thought Rogers would probably give him a little more run for the money. Yeah. You know, I have to tell you a story here about playing that Cabot here in a minute. So here's the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff, fielded at the 8. Crosses the the 15 to the 20, the 25. And it's like there's a little delay in Malachi tackling, Kramer but tackle. Malachi Kramer will make the tackle for the Cats, and the Grizzlies will get it. First and 10. It's like from the 27. Grizzlies. Yeah, down there at Cabot, it's interesting. During playoff time, they, they generally have a guy that, that uh, grills hamburgers over there on the home side. and. You know, you come down and you're going to take the field for the game. There's like a burger fog just floating around out there. And, man, you just get so hungry. It's just like it's like just like a fog of, of like 80, 20 ground chuck. I mean, it's pretty awesome. 
<laughs> two to the right, two split to the left. Northside has the ball. Draws back. Throws to the right. Yeah, yes. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Unnecessary push in by the Wildcats. So that'll, that'll be pass interference against the Cats. Pass interference on the defense, number 10. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. A fog of 80 20. Yeah, you know what? And, uh, you know, some of Harbor's most historic physical games have been played down there at the Cabot Stadium. I mean, two years in a row we went down there, won on the last play of the game. We ran the same play two years in a row to win it. Oh. Incomplete pass to the Grizzlies on the left-hand side. It'll bring up second down and 10 from the 43. Did you get to eat any of the hamburgers? No, but you know, that's the neat thing about going to all these stadiums right here. Northside grills some good hamburgers. They can do it right there by the visitor's locker room. Three to the left, two split to the right. There's the snap. Drops back, looks across the middle. Caught. He's still on his feet. Crosses the 25 to the 20. Fortunately, Tommy Hudson's there to make the tackle. Kind of got behind coverage there. Yep. Get their own catch. The Grizzlies adjusted the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're trying to get a play in. 15 seconds on the play clock. 4.46 left to go in the third quarter. Three split to the right hand side, one split to the left. There's the snap. Fakes the handoff, quarterback keeps on the right-hand edge, and he's going to be tackled by Warren Hall. Walker. Warren Hall, surprising. On the carry. Second down and eight for the Grizzlies. Even Park, the PA announcers, saying another tackle by <laughs> Warren's a great young man. He's fun to watch play. Great kid, nice young man. Three split to the right-hand side, one split to the left for north side. Four-minute mark. There's the snap, drops back, looks to the right. Quarterback is going to keep. And he's going to get about six yards. That'll bring up third down and two. There's old Northside. They hadn't quit yet, Don. No, they got a lot of fight to him. Coach Valer does a great job over there getting his kids ready to go. North side inside the Storms Orthodontics red zone. Make some substitutions there at north side. They got two split to the left hand side, one split to the right hand side. There's the snap, hands it off on the right hand side, gets to the edge. That's going to be tackled. Artillery. That is a first, excuse me, Chavez. That is a first down and goal for Northside. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. First and goal, Grizzlies from the six yard line. Northside at the six. Two split to the left hand side, two split to the right hand side. There's a man in motion, takes a snap. Quarterback rolls to the left, fires, incomplete. Second down and goal from the six. You know, Don, they sprinted out to a flood route. When I say a flood route, they just tried to flood at three different levels and uh, have a receiver at three different levels for the quarterback to have an opportunity to throw to. Fifteen seconds on the play clock for Northside. <clears throat> Line of scrimmage. One split to the right. Five seconds. There's the snap. Hands it off on the right-hand side. Touchdown, Northside. Well, things are getting kind of interesting here, Don. Two minutes left in this quarter. 
draw, drawing it closer. Now, now Harbor's got a little bit more pressure to execute, move the ball offensively. Now it becomes kind of can you keep, can you maintain your lead? North side comes in the line of scrimmage. The two-point conversion, two split to the left, two split to the right-hand side. Brings a man in motion, hands him off. Here comes the reverse. Throw back on a flea flicker, and that is a two-point conversion. Well, well drawn up, well executed. You know, that's something we – all offenses work, two-point plays. Uh, you work it during the week, but you really polish it on, on Thursday, on your polish day. You hit a little bit on Wednesday. When you go in with your game plan, you've got a little square on your call sheet, two-point plays. And uh, obviously you can tell the north side really believes in that one. And you, we saw them run that, the reverse, and, uh, with a, but they threw deep with the flea flicker. So that's, that's a part of a package that you know they work every week. So credit to north side, great execution. A little bit of a tweak on this one is the throwback to the quarterback. Yes. So that was a great play. Yes. To your point, he was wide open. So north side not going quietly into the night. No, they're going to fight. There's a long withstanding tradition. We talked earlier about, about, about football at north side high school. It's just, you know, you know, when you grew up, when, when you were playing, you know, in the late, you know, the late 80s, early 90s, there were, that was as good a high school football as anywhere in the country right. being played down there in Fort Smith, both at north side and south side. Right. Um, just, you know, they take a lot of pride. They've had a lot of success, a lot of history down there in Fort Smith when it comes to high school football. Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff. Looks like the onside kick. There it is. And it's going to be caught down by Lane Reader. So the Cats will have the ball first and 10 from the 43-yard line. Two minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Cats 42, Grizzlies 21. And it's time for the Cats to put some more points on them. Yeah, you know what? We got great field position. That hadn't been a problem all night, but can we move the chains, eat some clock, and score? At this point in time, it's not about eating clock. You've got to actually convert. This game is a lot closer than what, what the scoreboard would indicate. Two to the right, one to the left. There's the snap. Livingston over the top. Just outside of reach, incomplete. That has incomplete. Flag down on the field. There's a flag on the, on the field. The defense, number five. Ten yards from the previous spot results in a first down. Defensive holding. Yeah, you know, you see that. You see that a lot at the NFL levels. You know, you've got that that zone where you can bump and hand jam. But, you know, uh, and it, you see that when somebody's facing get beat because it's kind of like might as well because we're going to face and give yeah. up seven here. Six. <laughs> right, right. Two to the right, one to the left. Livingston drops back. He's got plenty of time, but he's going to intentionally ground him. Okay, ball. okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll buy that. He was outside the pocket. It wasn't there. Good, smart play. Live to play another down. Noah's kind of been impressing me here, you know. I mean, yeah. for, for, for not being behind center for so long, that was a veteran play right there. Yeah, he, he, he knew nothing but good was going to come of it. Yep. Hey, chunk it away. Second down and 10 for the Cats. Ball's at the 47-yard line. Two minutes, 28 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Cats come with two to the right, one to the left. There's a the snap. Brewer up the middle. Brewer bouncing on the right-hand side. Crosses the 40, crosses the 35, stays on his feet to the 31. He picks up the first down and is seven more. Great balance by Brewer. Watch him put his hand down here, steady himself. He's going to get tagged. Go down, put his hand down, and fight. He probably got five yards on his own there at the end of the run. Just effort. To the right, one split to the left. First and 10 at the 31 for the Cats. 2 of 5 on the clock. <clears throat> Third quarter, there's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Livingston basically just bad snap. He has to bend down, pick it up, and fights mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, broken play. Broken play ended up being a yard gainer. Malik Thomas second the down and nine for the Cats. Mm -hmm. 
There's a snap. Brewer up the middle. It's like about two yards on the carry for Brewer. Yeah, so here we are, third, and eh, you can say long, but, you know, for, for, for this team tonight, it's third and medium. You know, I, thought, I feel pretty successful here. There's a snap. Livingston dropping back, throws the screen, caught Ooh, the 30. Tackled uh, just short of the sticks. Yeah, let's give – let's give uh, – I'm going to talk about that. This is a great play by their nose man, or that thing would have been a touchdown right yeah. there. He was a, what we call a non-believer. He just kind of hung around, see him backing out of there. Here he is. He recognized screen, and uh, that was a touchdown saving tackle. Fourth down and one for the Cats. Trying to draw them off sides. One to the left, one to the right. Brewer behind the quarterback. There's the snap. Brewer up the middle. Brewer falls across the 20. That is the first down for the Cats. Uh, that was a big pickup right there. Did you get a name on the tackle? For the yeah, he's uh, so good, I don't think his number's listed. <laughs> it's a game time, game time decision. Game time decision. Brought him up from the developmental team. <laughs> Be at the bus at 5 o'clock. That's right. We'll have you sack lunch. One to the left, one to the right. Brewer gets the handoff on the right-hand side. Cuts back. There is flag on a play. Brewer reverses field, crosses the 10, tackled at the 5. I believe that's coming back. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what the call is here. Holding on the offense, number 64. Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying it. Replay first down. It is what it is, but I don't know. Number 64, Sergio Miranda here. He just gave up a little bit of penetration. They called him for a hole, but the guy was already disengaged at the time the play was – or the flag was thrown. So, yeah, I don't know about that, but, it, it, you know, well, that's football. You know, and, and that's what I like about sports football. I mean, it's adversity. Everything you do, somebody is trying to cause you adversity. Yep. There's a snap underneath. The reader, reader bounces out after hitting the wall, crosses the 25 to the 20, cuts back, and trips over the hash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was a little bit worried the way he went down right there. I thought, oh, Lord, I thought yeah. he hurt himself. Right. Yeah, but the old hash monster got him. So the end of the third quarter here at Wildcat Stadium, Wildcats 42, the Grizzlies 21, folks. Don't go anywhere. Quick commercial break. We got fourth quarter Wildcat football coming at you right after this. Hey, man, you got a light? Yeah, we can get to that. Do you know the average American spends about $2,000 a year on tobacco products, which typically translates into about $200 a month, all on something that makes you 30 times more likely to die from lung cancer. Knowing that, saying you're burning through your money is an understatement. 31 cents is the cost of a cigarette. 31 cents, and big tobacco just bought your future. Don't want that light? Nah, man, I'm good. For more information, visit projectpreventar.com. Try the three and three meal at Slim Chickens. Three hand-breaded chicken tenders paired with three perfectly fried wings, shaken in your choice of house flavors. Served with fries, Texas toast, and a medium drink. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Fresh 12 minutes on the clock. Fourth quarter, here we come. 42-21. Second down and six for the Cats. One split to the right, one split to the left. Readers to the right-hand side of Livingston. There's the snap, fakes the handoff, throws it over to the corner. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. Peyton McKee on the completion. It's wide open. Yeah, great protection. Had uh, two fullbacks in the game. They both fit up on their blocks right here. And uh, great throw and catch. Just a little seven cut to the, to the corner of the end zone. So Ramirez comes on the field for the extra point.
Here's the snap. Snap is down. The kick is up. Oof. And the kick is good. Like old Phil Necro knuckleball. That <laughs> <laughs> it was. So let's see if we can break down that touchdown, Coach. Yep. So, hey, uh, our outside receiver just ran a seven cut. Don, you better tell me what button to push here. Technology here, folks. All right, we just ran a seven cut to the corner of the end zone. Great protection. Had both fullbacks fitting it up in there. And uh, great throw and catch. You know, hey, I'm really impressed with Noah. You know, look, he threw that thing to the outside corner, the outside shoulder, where his receiver was the only one that could have caught that thing. Yeah. He just dropped, dropped it in there. When he, you know, uh, McKee didn't have, even have to, he didn't have to, you know, make a great play or anything. Yep, just put your pinkies together. Your penmanship's getting Getting better. Much better. Mm -hmm. I ought, to, ought to ride on there. What is? <laughs> Seven cut. <laughs> well, I saw on there harps, and then I saw milk, eggs. <laughs> yeah, bread. <laughs> <laughs> so the Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff that is going to be into the end zone for the touchback. The Grizzlies will have the ball first and 10 at the 20. 49-21, Cats in the lead. So important for the Cats defense to shut down the Grizzly offense here to try to take some steam out of their sails. Well, you know what? They went down there and they answered the bell. You know, they did what they could or did what they had to. And it, that's encouraging, to, you know, to go out there and score. There's the snap. Watched out of the pocket. Warren Hall, of all people, makes the tackle. Tommy Hudson Warren there on the assist. On the That'll bring up second down and six. You know, for the most part, Donald's been a pretty clean game. We have had some flags, but you know what? We, we kind of went through the middle part of the season when we got some, you know, some, some goofball penalties. Yep. Hands it off on the left-hand side after trips to the right. He does pick up a first down, tackled at the 35. That'll move the chains. First and 10 for the Grizzlies from the 35. Malachi you know, Graham I mean, the biggest part about winning a game is not beating yourself. Right. And for the most part, Harbor's done that tonight. You know, I mean, yeah, they've had some flags, but you're going to have flags, even in the cleanest of games. It, 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 that's a byproduct of competing hard. Right. But you can't have the ding, dingbat, you know, goofball plays. Right. Three to the right. Hands it off. Right-hand side. Tommy Hudson Man, Tommy dropping Hudson. a hammer. Yeah, a form tackle. Looked like he was playing for the New Zealand All-Black Rugby Team. It's a way to wrap him up. If you watch his tackle, guys, this is textbook tackle. Watch him, watch him wrap up. Boom, drive, dump. Oh, you could. I mean, really, that, that's the prettiest tackle as you'll ever see. Yep. Second down, the six, 40-yard line. Two to the left, two split to the right. Throws across the middle, complete. Yeah, that's going to be down. So that's a first down for the Grizzlies. They'll have the ball first and 10 from the 32. It's a big pass play for the Grizzlies. Yeah, it is. They're really moving the chains and chunks. And, that, you know, being where they're at, that's what you got to do. You got to get chunk yardage here. Great job of quarterback just stepping up, throwing it, and hitting his receiver on the run. Northside will come to the line of scrimmage. Nine minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Left in the game, two to the left, two split to the right. There's the snap. Quarterback drops back. He's got some time. And he just dumps it away. Yeah, once again, he kind of did what Noah Limston did earlier, our last series. And nothing was there. Just throw it away. Learn to play another down. A little bit of a tip of the hat to the – Wildcat defensive secondary, you know, if you, yeah. you have all the time in the world and you still don't have a play. Yeah, that's so that's so tough, you know, and, and then especially if a quarterback is not getting any pressure, he just kind of moving around back there. 
you got to play defense for a long time, in other words. Two to the left, two split to the right. Second down and 10 for the Grizzlies. Quarterback runs to the left, pitches it off. Tommy Hudson <laughs> taking shoes off of people down yeah, there. Yeah, great play. You know, Tommy almost kind of caught off a uh, block in the back right here. Stringing it out, stringing it out. Good play. It's one to wrap up. You're hitting people hard when you lose your shoe. I've only seen that happen one other time. You know what? One time I saw an official, the umpire there behind the defensive line, linebackers, I've seen him get blown out of his shoes. Really? Yeah, seriously. The, but the shoes didn't move. They were just sitting there on the ground. Three to the right, two split to the left. There's the snap. Quarterback looking to the right. Steps into the pocket. He's going to get flushed out. And Warren Hall shows up. Warren Hall. sack lunch and the sack. <laughs> yeah. They better find another sandwich give uh, Warren when he goes in the field house tonight. Say, so son, you earned an you earned after game dinner. You got the extra sandwich. Yes. <clears throat> so the Grizzlies going to take a timeout. It's fourth and 12 at the 34 with 8.24 to go. 49-21, Cats in the lead. We'll be back right after this. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Scores of interest, Fayetteville 28, Little Rock Central 34. So we got, we'll have to shift down to the bottom to complete games now. Bryant 34, Heritage 7, that's a finished game. Cabot 48, Rogers 14, that is finished. Northside snaps the ball. Launches it downfield, incomplete. And that'll bring Cats onto the field. Uh, 66-21, Conway over the Bulldogs. North Little Rock, 38. Southside, zero. Cats at the line of scrimmage. One split to the right, two split to the left-hand side. There's the snap. Hands it off to Brewer. Brewer up the middle. He's going to pick up about four yards, maybe five. Got a cat down out there, Donald. Oh, we do. Well, it looks like we're going to take a quick commercial break as they, well, maybe not. As soon as the trainers get out there, they're going to walk off under his own power. It's Isaac Kramer. Oh, Isaac Kramer. Seven minutes, 55 seconds left to go in the ball game. Cats 49, Grizzlies 21. Second and six at the 39. Two to the right, excuse me, two to the left, one to the right. Reader up the middle. Reader gets tackled at the 40. That's about a one yard gain. That'll bring up third down and five. Okay, Let's see if we can convert on third down. So far this evening, we have some good, good conversion rates on third down. Two split to the right, one split to the left. There's a the snap. Fakes to reader. 
Livingston holds, and he's going to down it just short of the first down marker. Yeah, I'm not so sure Liv uh, Noah knew where the, where the stick Sticks was. Work. Yeah, because I think if he knew that <laughs> – I think he probably could have got the first. So bring up four down and two for the Cats. Ball's at the 42-yard line. Two to the left, one split to the right. Reader behind Livingston. I don't think they're going to bring pressure off both edges here. Well. Right, we got a flag on the Start play. on the offense, yeah. number 81. That is going to go yards. against the Cats, so the punt team comes on the down. field. That's Hudson Brewer in the punt for the Wildcats. Fourth and seven at the 37. Burr will be punting a punt from about the 25 yard line. There's the snap. There's the kick. Fair caught. 36 yard line. The Grizzlies will have it first and 10 from the 36. Six minutes, 12 seconds left to go in the ball game. Grizzlies come to the line of scrimmage. They got three to the right, one split to the left. There's the snap, drops back, looks to the right, rolls to the right, chased out of bounds, dumps it out of bounds. Good coverage downfield by the Harvard D-backs. Didn't give the quarterback any option to go. He couldn't go anywhere with the ball. Second and 10 from the 36. 6.05 left to go in the ball game. You know, Donald, I think it's probably one of the more complete games that Harbor has played all year long. I, I mean, was just thinking about that. Just, just a little bit ago. complete as far as offensively, defensively, and special teams. You know, last couple of weeks we've had some special teams issues, and that you know, right now this time of year, special teams will win, definitely win and lose you ball games. Grizzlies two to the left, two to the right. Quarterback to the left, options off. Hit at the line of scrimmage and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Malachi Kramer. Great job, of Malachi Kramer, forcing the issue, turning everything back in, getting up field, and uh, wrapped them up. So explain to everybody on the field, or on the broadcast here. Understand containment, turning them back in. Well, what's the reason for that? Well, when you're when you're an edge defender, whether you're on the edge on the defensive line or whether you're a corner on the perimeter, the outside nearest the boundary, your job is to when a run's coming your way, you turn it back in. That means you set the edge, you box everything back up, because all your help is coming from the midline of the field. There's a snap, quarterback run to the right. Here comes Will Haney. And here in Haney footsteps, you're going to get rid of the football as he does. That'll bring up fourth down and nine. Five thirteen left to go in the ball game. Forty nine twenty one. Cats in the lead. Fourth and nine at the thirty seven. Northside going to take the timeout. We're going to take it with them, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. Ozarks Go from Ozarks Electric Cooperative is leading the fiber revolution. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post. From downtown to way out of town. To connect our customers to a world of blazing speed, and access to absolutely everywhere. It's our customers connected and energized with Ozarks Go. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. 5.13 left to go in the ball game. First round of the state playoffs. First round of the road to Little Rock. 
It's going to be a long road, Donald. Just got to grab some extra gears. Keep on trucking. Keep on keeping on. North side going for it on fourth and long. Two to the left, two to the right. Quarterback drops back, fires, caught, and it's going to be close. I guess they are going to give him the first down. Speak north side to keep on working their sideline as time runs down here, and they're dwindling down. They have one timeout left, so they're going to have to get in some clock management at the same time, though. They're still going to have to push the ball down the field and try to get some chunks. So north side first and 10 at the 47. Two split to the right-hand side. There's the snap. Fakes the handoff. And on the wheel route, oh, incomplete. And yeah. there's a flag on a play. <laughs> you knew that was coming right there. Yeah, they tried to hit the back out of the backfield on the wheel route. Everything's looking really good until we got a little bit handsy right there. Yeah. That was a legit call. It's on the defense, number 10. 15 yards previous spot results in a first down. So that's a 15-yard penalty against the Wildcats. It is a first down. Now, is it a still a penalty if you said he was sorry? Yeah, they're still going to get him. So they move the sticks. 38-yard line, five minutes left to go. Two split to the left, two split to the right. There's the snap. Hands it off. Fumbles the football. Now they got it, Donald. They got it for a first down. Grizzly jumps on it for a first down. See the running back as he's pressing the line. Oh, loses it. Oh, there's his buddy right there. Jump on for a first down. Think of a gamble for a half a yard gain. Paid off. Two to the left, two split to the right. 4.30 to go. There's the snap. Drops back, looks to the right, looking for some help. Crosses the middle, incomplete. And that's all because of Clark Jenkins breaking up the, plat, the completion. You know, Don, we haven't got a lot of pressure on this quarterback tonight, but it, it, let me tell you why. It's the quarterback, he's always been on the move. He's been drifting out of the pocket. He's been sprinting out. And the best way to negate defensive line pressure is to move the pocket, change the launch point. Hands it off on the left-hand side, cuts back. Liam Taylor there on the tackle. Yeah, good tackle by Liam Taylor. You know, of course, that running back made a good gain. All they did was run what we call an inside zone. They just stretched it hard to the left. The back pressed the line of scrimmage in the direction of the offensive line. He just cut off the backside tackle. Two split to the left, two split to the right. 4.02 left to go in the ballgame. There's the snap, hands it off on the left-hand side. Cuts back in the seam, gets to the five-yard line, down to the four. Okay, same type of play, same play exactly, you know, going the other way, but instead of him hitting the cutback, he stayed with the original path, his inside zone run path. So north side will take the timeout. We're going to take the timeout with them. Three minutes and 43 seconds left to go in the ball game. 49-21, Cats in the lead. We'll be back right after this. This month, our biggest discounts on the highest quality lineup of vehicles are at Crane Buick GMC in Springdale. Right now, get up to 10,000 off new Sierras, up to 12,000 off new Yukons, and new Acadias are just $3.99 a month with zero money down. And just like always, you'll get the Crane commitment, including a 100-year, 100,000-mile warranty, because we are Arkansas-driven. Visit Crane Buick GMC of Springdale in the heart of Northwest Arkansas and online at CraneBuickGMCOfSpringdale.com. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. That tall drink of water next to me, Big Don Strubing. All right, Donald, see if we can bow up, keep him out of the end zone. I've got quite the drive going on here. 
Grizzlies inside the Storm's orthodontics red zone. Second down and four at the five. They come to the line of scrimmage. They got split to the left, split two to the right. There's the snap. Options off. Touchdown, Northside. Yeah, okay. Hey, great job by the Grizzlies there. They 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 sprinted to the, the open side of the field. And, um, great point perimeter blocking, and they just pitched it at the right time and spread us out. It was a one-on-one, -on -one and great job by their running back. So the extra point team comes on the field. Completed the two-point conversion last time. No, nece Not necessarily any reason to go for two here. Snap is down, a kick is up, and a kick is good. And it's 49-28. Cats in the lead with 3.37 left to go in the game. Coach, what's the game plan for the last three and a half? Well, hey, when we get this ball, we're going to have to possess it, get a couple of first downs, and, you know, hey, we're going to go there and try to score, but we need we need to at least move the chains here, and we can, we can get this one saucered and blow. Yeah, Grizzlies with no timeouts left. Yeah, it's going to be hard for them because when they when the, if if they were to take back over the ball, you know, statistically it's not looking good for them. But uh, they definitely have to work some great clock management. So assuming everything goes as planned for tonight, that matches us up next Friday night for the big game. I've heard a lot about the uh, the Bryant Hornets. They. Uh, a lot of talk down there out of Central and South Arkansas. They're trying to make the comparison to the 05 Springdale Bulldogs. Uh, There's no comparison. I don't think so either, Donald, but that's the comparison they're making down there in that part of the state. Yep, it's easy to do that. So the hands team on for the Cats. Arkansas Children's Northwest kickoff. And Squib kicks down the middle of the field. Fielded at the 10, crosses the 15 to the 20, crosses the 25, and that's where he'll be tackled down. Alvis on the kickoff return. So the Cats will have it first and 10 from the 25 with 3.32 left to go in the game. All right, now we need to come out here and move the chains. Keep the clock rolling. As old Hank Strand would say, matriculate that ball right on down the field. So the Cats come to the line of scrimmage. They got two split to the right, two, excuse me, one split to the left. And a handoff goes up the middle. It's like about a yard gain on the carry. You know, Donald, we got some, got some new guys in there up front on that offensive line. Yep. New quarterback in there. Braxton Scott. Braxton quarterback. Scott, yep. Second down and eight. 3.05 to go. Got one split to the right-hand side and one split to the left. In motion, hands it off up the middle and immediately gets hit hard. That's Henson on the carry for the Cats. So third and nine for Harbor. Doesn't seem to be too much clock management. I mean, we're snapping the ball with 20 left on yeah. the play clock. and. Guess they're resetting to 25. Yeah. Two to the right, one to the left. Rolls to the right, incomplete. That'll bring a fourth down and nine from the 26 for the Cats. 2.14 left to go in the ball game. Cats 49, Grizzlies 28. Punt team comes on for the Cats. Well, 
Well, Donald, I'm going to zero in here on Warren Hall. Let's see what he's going to do here. Putting about the 15-yard line. There's the kick. Great kick, fielded at the 38. Around the right-hand edge. <laughs> I guess he made that tackle. Warren Hall. <laughs> Warren, Warren Hall. <laughs> So it's funny, he's running off the field, and Coach Flip points him back onto the field. Two minutes, four seconds left to go in the ball game. First and ten, ball's at the 45-yard line. Grizzlies have it. Two minutes, four seconds left to go to do something. Two split to the left, two split to the right-hand side. There's the snap. It is fumbled. Tommy Hudson makes sure he gets tackled at the 35. That'll bring up second down and 20. You know, Donald, really, I'm really impressed with her with her linebacker play. Coach Haney, our linebacker coach, one of the best fundamental coaches that I know at any level. He's a heck of a ball coach, and he his kids, boy, they'd run through a brick wall for him. Yep. And his kids are playing lights out. I mean, it, you know, you talk about Tillery, Warren Hall, and Will Haney, and Tommy Hudson. I mean, these guys are everywhere. You know, we're hearing their name everywhere. You know, well, let's credit that defensive line up there for keeping those offensive linemen off of them. Right. Again, Tommy Hudson adding insult to yep. injury. That's another two-yard loss. Yeah, I'll tell you what, going back to Coach Haney, you know, Harvard's very fortunate to have a coach like him. He's just a great fundamental teacher, does a great job with the kids. He runs one of my favorite drills of all time. It's called Hillbilly on a Log. I love watching that thing. we got to hear what that is here in a minute. Well, yeah, I'll tell you here in a minute. Two to the left, two split to the right, third down and a commuter flight. Hands it off on the left-hand side. It's tackled by Tommy Hudson again. Helping out is Ross Haney. Oh, Ross Haney. Ross Haney was a bit of a pup when you were uh, when you were here, right? Yeah, Ross was a little kid. You know, me and Coach Davies always lamented about how much Mountain Dew he could drink. You better hide your Mountain Dew if it's around. <laughs> he ate a ton of zebra cakes from Little Debbie, and he'd drink washing down Mountain Dew. He's a wild animal. He's the only guy i ever seen be able to crawl up the inside of a door frame like a spider monkey. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. He'd get barefooted look like a guy that climbed a palm tree. And that is going to be the end of the game with the Harbor Wildcats 49 and the Grizzlies 28. Taking a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We got your post-game recap right after this. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure. On the counter, find a hole, Garrett inside the five, touch down, Springdale. Good! Wide open, Trey Smith, touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Cats victorious for the first round of the playoffs, 49-28. Coach, summarize the, the gameplay here for the Cats. 
Well, hey, Donald, we talked about it a minute ago. This is one of the more complete games that I think the Wildcats have played. Definitely, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, it's hard enough to beat an opponent, but you can't beat yourself in the process. Right. You can't help your opponent. And for, you know, we had some flags tonight, but those were hustle flags. Uh, nothing nothing egregious, no no dumbo penalties. And, you know, you're at the time of the year where those, those goofball penalties, you know, late hits, unnecessary roughness, you know, extracurricular stuff it will cost you. Um, I thought, comparatively speaking from last week, the special teams play was outstanding. We were very solid kicking game outside of the opening kickoff for the most part we drove it in the end zone we hit our pats punch you know uh, brewer punted for us tonight i'm sure he didn't think he was going to be in that spot a week ago right so i mean that's solid and, and once again having brewer back here opens up other options for us as far as fakes or tricks off the special teams play offensively hey no livingston uh, you know a week ago he didn't think he was going to be taking right. snaps and Credit to him, what he was able to do in a week's time. You know, he threw some frozen ropes, threw some good balls out here. He's not a total rookie to the position, but hey, he's been a wide receiver all year. So you know, right. he he hadn't been, and that's a that's a that's that's like being a pitcher in, in the game of baseball. It's a very specialized position. So you know, for him to come out and do what he did, both in the short, intermediate, and long ball game, was was very impressive. Now to back all that up, you know, we we established the run game. And, and if you've got Lane Raider and Brewer back there, that one-two combo, along with that offensive line, we're always going to get some positive, positive yards. So we were never in a position where we were truly behind the sticks. Right. You know, go back to special teams play, I kind of felt like our average starting field position for the most of the time tonight was definitely in our advantage. You know, we were never backed up in there inside our own 10. Uh, defensively, I thought the linebackers flew around. You know, Warren Hall must, I don't know, I, it'd be interesting. So I have to ask Coach Haney on the, on the tackle chart. But he was unbelievable. Will Haney, um, Billy Tillery, you know, Tommy Hudson. And those guys are only successful if that defensive line goes to work and right. keeps those big hogs from the other team out of their grills. Let's them do their job. Linebackers were supposed to make tackles. You know, defensive secondary, there were times – that, that, you know, the quarterback from Northside had to throw the ball away simply because there was nowhere to go with it. So, right. you know, I, I I think Coach Wood, they're going to go in there and uh, they're, they're going to eat some kind of good home-cooked meal tonight. And uh, hopefully they enjoy this one. There's another one to play next week. And, you know, we're at the time of the year, Donald, where the loser's putting their pads up. Northside right. will be checking in their equipment come Monday. And so this time of the year you play to get another week. And so here we are. Live or die. Live or die. That's right. So we got Bryant Friday night at Bryant. Right. Talk, talk to me about Wildcat history there with Bryant. You, not not a long not a long tenured history with Bryant. Bryant came up here a couple years ago and beat us. It was a game that I think everybody felt that Harvard kind of gave away at that point in time. Buck James is the head coach down at Bryant. He does a great job. He's a he's a lifelong resident of Lower Arkansas down there. So. He's kind of a – he's an upcoming legend. And, uh, you know, to go down to Saline County down there, uh, they love their football. Um, that student section and band will be hyped up. And it'll be the biggest thing in town in Central Arkansas next week. So, they're really proud of their team. And, uh, you know, of course, they're going to expect to win. But I, I tell you what, if we'll go down there and compete and not get it in our own way and help the other team, uh, who knows? And, and that's what's beautiful about the game. And more so in high school football, you never know, you know. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people want to look at games on paper. Well, you know what? There's so many. There're probably more variables, more unpredictable, you know, factors with high school kids, and especially in today's modern time of Corona, you, you never know what your club's going to look like right. come Friday when it's time right. to get on the bus. And we're seeing that with games being canceled on Saturdays, you right. know. And so we're very fortunate. And we talked about this before before we kicked off tonight was, you know, we never thought we'd get this far right. as far as complete season. And we need to be very fortunate that we have. And let's make the most of it. Let's find out how far we can go. Well said. Well, folks, that'll do it for us tonight at Wildcats Stadium. This is the last night for the 2020 season at Wildcats Stadium. Next Friday night, down at Bryant, please join us on behalf of Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland and Athletic Director Wayne Stellick, Harbor High School Principal Dr. Paul Grieb. I'm Donald Tucker. 
He's Big Don Strubing. We'll see you Friday night from Brian. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats!